G'day and welcome to the Infronomers. This is going to be this year's tier list show. Um, I'm the only one that's going to appear on camera this time. And then basically, because everyone's here, it's going to be a real uh, clusterfuck of heaps of people. But yeah, everyone's here except Paul. Paul isn't able to make it, but everyone else is here. So I'm going to cut it straight over and we're going to get on with it. So what we're going to do this year for a bit of hilarity is I've got this image and we're in a, a browser on this website. And it allows us all to draw at the same time. Everyone say hello. So, Algrid, say hello. You're here. I'll just go through the list. Algrid, hello. hello. Badges. Hello. Osiris. How do you do? And Space Tomato. Space Tomato. Da -da. Hey, YouTube. Da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone's got colors. Can everyone tell me what their color is? We'll start. We'll go backwards this time. Space Tomato, what's your color that you're going with? I am blue. You're blue? Osiris, what are you? Yeah, boy. Like a teal. A teal. Uh, drinkers, what are you? I am purple. You're purple. And yes, and, and Algrid, what color are you? I'm golden. Golden. Responsible. And I'm I'm red. No, right? just because just it's rich in money, you know. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> right, there you go. I'm and red. You can so see we good. cannot, if they're watching the screen, they can see we can't type. Well, we can't write for the... No, but we can draw. And we can change the size of our paintbrushes and the colours. But, yeah, please don't change your colours because then it'll confuse people. Um, hey, don't do that. That'll get us demonetized. Don't do that. That's terrible. Hey, man, yeah, that's rude. rude. That's exactly rude. what it is. So you can see why we're doing this because it's going to be bloody hilarious. <laughs> was um, a moon animal. I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a poodle. It was a poodle. It was a poodle. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a blue animal. All right, so you got to zoom in to draw, though. So it is going to get increasingly hilarious as we go because they're obviously going to get pretty damn tiny, some of them. Um, well, my I've question tried... is, are we starting from the low end, the small end, mm -hmm. and working up, or are we going big, going down? We're going big and going down. So we'll probably start at the Javelin, then the Holly, then the Idrises. So on the Javelin, all right. Uh, who wants to talk about the Javelin? Not everyone can talk because we've obviously got too many much time. So uh, who here owns a Javelin? I think there's only one person that can talk on this, and unfortunately it's you, Algrid, because no one else owns one. I don't, does anyone else own one besides Algrid? Nope. All right, Algrid, go. I actually got to right. check my referrals. Oh, don't be a smart ass. We we're not having that while we're here now. <laughs> Keenan. Yeah, just rub yeah, it in, right Keenan. Yeah, right. Stream reveal I whether or not <laughs> Space Tomato has a javelin. Yeah, so one it's is the 1. best 5. and five is the worst. So, And I think it's a 1.5. It right. is a top tier ship. It is probably the biggest, baddest, meanest ship that we've got in game. Mm -hmm. But I've got it as 1.5 because it requires basically a full all to run. And so it's not the ship that me as well if we were all on together it's not the type of ship we would run we would run and we'd be pulling in people who are streamers and friends and to help us run it because it's just right. so big and so even though it's a ship that's awesome and fantastic and brilliant mm -hmm. unless you're an org unless you're doing org raids it's not for you all right so everyone great. else put uh, your everyone else put your number on it i'm gonna put a two two what are anyone else doing twos yeah twos and threes okay yeah, so I think I don't know about everyone else. Real quick, but I think it's because it's got TBA. That's that's my uh, that's my reason. Any, real quick, Osiris, what's yours? Uh, Algorithm said it all. I don't need to yep. repeat. Uh, Space Tomorrow? Same. The only reason it's a two is because I have an orc now. Otherwise, it'd be a zero. Uh, yeah, you just that, that we're gonna need vinegar and razor blades this whole episode. Badges. Uh, what's, <laughs> what's your same as everyone else? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure about the javelin because you know we need details on how it's going to run. I, I, I'm just thinking from the perspective of spawning this thing in, the stutter that it's going to cause uh, on the server to have something that big just appear and disappear, um, mm. and the sheer logistics of running something that size. So uh, I don't think it might be as high I think as some once people. It's, uh... Once it's spawned, I don't think it ever despawns, man. Uh, they, they live in space, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. But yeah, I'll oh, move yeah. on. Because this is going to take this is going to be a long episode. Um, mm -hmm. Hole E. Anyone want to talk about the Hole E specifically? No. Do I throw someone under the bus? Uh, big boy. Uh, yeah, Space Nine. You spoke first, so tell me about the Hole E. All right, I have a two for the Hole E. Uh, why oh, why is your color black, black all of a sudden? Well. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that you're not black in real life, but I mean, like, why is the text black in real life? I really uh, awkwardly I put know, myself in those start, situations. 
That just controls it. Racing the ship, then. No, did you, can, did you like your life of faith, just, sir? Just you can tell the one that you have. Just, just rough it up. <laughs> We, got, we made it to the second ship before hilarity ensued. Well, at least we got past one. All right. So the whole E, I mean, it's going to be incredible for transporting a lot of stuff, but it's a two for me because, like, how realistic is it going to be for most situations? Yeah. This is going to be yeah. this is going to be a and rare ship. Can you draw your number on there or not? Or is it? I mean, if you want it in. I guess my name. So my in the top, color change. so just change the color in the top right hand corner, man. Oh, it's so in that, much in work that, in that circle wheel. Uh, in the circle wheel, just just click. Yeah, what no, you've done there's it. like you... an overlay on top of it, so I gotta. I just interestingly discovered that my push work, to talk work. button changes my color. Oh, uh, not ideal. Uh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Everyone else put their number on, so I'm gonna put my number on. Uh, it's a two for me as well. Badges and. Hagrid and Osiris. Here we go. On. A one. A one. Why is it a one, Osiris? This ship is a license to print money. A license to print money. Okay. Play short. Get version. away from my two. Just because of like because of just all the cargo. Yeah. This it's going to be absolutely bonkers how much money you make with the ship. I don't disagree. But oh, but imagine what a, how much attention yeah. you're going to get. Mm. My my mm. concern with the ship is with that size. The 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 I think it was um the idea of the size of a ship is like doubles each time or triples each time. So an A is like a B is double an A, a C is double a B, a, a D is double a C, an E is double a D. This will be so, if if they realize and I realize that it's still kind of contentious whether or not they can do this, but if they realize the dream of a single shard for the entire community this is going to be like a major weekend event is like the people who have hollies are going to be running marathon style from one end of the verse to the other to deliver mm -hmm. these massive cargo runs and all the friggin' pirates are going to be trying to kill them it's going to oh, be yeah. an awesome awesome thing that happens <laughs> so this... all the pirates who all the old pirates that have a javelin will be sitting there going awesome yeah it's going to be awesome but and it's going to be contested by it all the PVPers, but if you make it to your destination, you're going to be able to retire. It will be like that. <laughs> and, if, and if you don't make it, you'll be working on someone else's ship for the next year. Um, It'll be like an annual migration. It will probably have full on like special newscast shows based on this event. Of people yeah, just getting sniped by pirates. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. I think you guys have gone a bit higher than crazy with that, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to bundle the citizen. interests together. So we've got, um, this is what, Idris P, M, and K. Um, and I, 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 um, cause I think they're pretty similar. I think we can do that. Yeah. Is that a good idea or not? Mm -hmm. Um, um, I'm going to chuck badges there cause he's a military guy. Uh, badges, tell me about the Idris and, and, and what, what number do you think it'll be? Um, I think your Idris is, is going to be fairly powerful. It's just got so much versatility. Uh, you've got room for potentially three or more fighters on the flight deck. Um, it could also land and deploy ramps, as we've seen in the ver uh, or in some of their gameplay demos, uh, and deploy vehicles. Um, tough as old boots, lots of turrets. Yeah, you, what, what's your number for it? Write, write your number on it for us. Uh, it's going to be a two. It's going to be a two. Um, I'm actually going to agree with you on that. So I, I, I think it's going to be a two. I think the other thing, and I, I think I've got to agree with this on this, is Quadrant 42, yeah? Like, this thing is going to be one of the most polished ships in the game. I'm going to say one. You're going to say one? And Whoa, that's a big, I'm yeah, yeah. One. yeah. What about um, you? Is this the P or the K? Uh, all of them. It's all three of them. Do, do you think there's a difference? Um, and if there is space, tell us. Like, put your numbers down uh, and, and, and tell us what, why I think they're different. I, I mean, I just, I read them differently because of the letter, to be honest. Yep. I look. I, I I do think they are different. I think. The, Why am I um, gray now? <laughs> I don't know. So whatever button you're press, there's a button you're pressing. Are you pressing a push to talk button to talk? Uh, One of the mouse buttons, I think, is a sample button. So it's whatever your mouse is over at the time. Ah, Jesus! Uh, sample design. design. Yeah, you guys are fat so, fingering. Fat fingering. That's yeah. what it is. Fat um, fingering. Also, FFS, after this, fat finger syndrome. Just a side note to let everyone know what time of day we're recording this is. Paul can't come because he's doing captain's table. So I think after this, after we record, if we've got any time left over, we just go over and bug him for like five minutes and just to, just to let him know we, we care. 
um, after sure. the show. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's that. I but think, I, I, do, I do think I do think the addresses are different because you've got the yeah. the, the M, which has got the railgun, which is different from the the beam weapon on the K. The K is so you, you're saying the Agrid. So you're saying the the railgun's number one because it's got a better gun. Is that what you're kind of saying? Um, I'm not sure. In some ways, I think I think that depends whether they still stick with the idea that the M has more armor than the P, um, because mm -hmm. that will really change it. Because if the M's got the higher armor as well, then you've got the M being the better ship because it's got the the armor plus the railgun plus. But its downside is it needs more crew, and so. I've looked at taking it, taking the M and putting the, the K's remote turrets onto it. Uh, just swapping the turrets out. Mixing um, and because matching. Remote turrets... Sorry? Mixing, yeah, and, mixing matching. and matching. Yeah. Uh, because the big advantage of, those, of the K is those turrets reduce, from what I understood, reduce the requirement for crew. Mm. All right. Um, and, that was, gonna... and that was always an issue with your ship. All right, I'm moving on. You know I've got to make this short and sweet. Someone's going to be the bad guy today. All right, um, we'll go... We'll call the, the top ones the privateer, and the bottom one is the kraken. So I think these are separate enough that you can do separate stuff, but you guys kind of proved that I was wrong in the Idris, so I'll split these ones back up. So we'll do the kraken first. Just the default kraken guys at the bottom. Um, um, I think the only person I know that kind of owned one besides Algod was Osiris. You own one, don't you, Osiris? I do, yeah. And I love this ship as well, so I could talk on this a bit as well. But you, you tell you tell me what, what uh, give us your number, and then tell us why. Well, this is a one for me, and it's because it's so powerful as a fleet support ship. It's very versatile in terms of the gameplay that you can get into with the ship without having to pre-configure it at port. Uh, you can mm -hmm. just go out in the verse and go, and it it adds sustainment and support and repair services and all kinds of secondary supportive function to your whatever kind of operation you're getting into you could take it on a mining operation salvage combat whatever it's just an yeah. awesome ship i think i think for me it's because it so for me it's a one as well everyone should be writing the number on there i don't know why no one did but all right um yeah for me it's a one also because um yeah for the, everything you said the support and the combat role i think is really cool anyone else want to talk on that real quick we, we can't have everyone talk obviously but is anyone that really wants to talk on the kraken nope. not all right. pretty much what i saw it said Yep, cool. All right, we'll move on to the privateer. Um, I'll talk on this one since I haven't talked on one. Yeah, for me, it drops a little, I think. I, I think just the expense of this drops a little bit. Um, it, it, it's a bang for buck thing for me. So I think it drops to a two because of the price. Um, but it's still it just... Is it, do you want to talk about that a little bit then, Adrian, the privateer? You want to tell me a bit? Look, I, I was tempted to drop it, but um, if you're if you're a merchant, if you want to have those shops, then this is a this can be a ship for you. It it is your literal space station, um, mm -hmm. your portable portable space station, uh, or rest stop because it's got the uh, the ability to have those um, the shops. It loses cargo space. It probably the biggest thing it loses, in my opinion, is that um, uh, the dragonfly hangar or the the, mm -hmm. the snub ship hangar at the back, which gets turned into the into the, the mm -hmm. locked shop. Okay. Um, because that is like, you, you know how bad the P-52 is to try and get uh, buzzing around a ship. So that's, that's your local mm, defense. Maybe, I don't know. Space station. So that's one of the things I think you lose. Um, mm. But it, it does, with the markets, it does everything the other ship can do in terms of support, but it also gives that rest stop type ability. So you go to a moon that doesn't have a space station, mm. that's just space station. All right. Space Tomato, give us your number on the Orion, please, sir. The Orion. Let me, uh, let me find that. There it is. Are you, are you YouTubing while we're doing an episode? No, I'm just kidding. Not at all. I'm <laughs> chewing on, I'm chowing on a Fig Newton, dude. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, man. All that's right. my lunch. The two for the Orion. So why, why two yes. for the Orion? Uh, I love it. It's, it's going to churn out money it's going to be an incredible industrial titan in this game and it'll also be an incredible sight to see one i think it's cool mm. because it has a lot of roles for all of your party members tractor beams refining pilot whatever it might be but it also has a huge huge target on its back and i'm personally more of a low-key kind of pilot so bigger ships tend to rank lower for me mm. unfortunately no one agrees with you by the look of that uh <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, most people like big <laughs> ships. It's also it's just a super valuable ship. I think but it's going to be I a big. Been, you're right though. Everything you my, said, like a big, a big org ship, man, for sure. I will if also you, say you're... this: I'm not huge on ships, so my ratings for most ships will probably be different from you guys. I, I think we've all been pretty close. We've all been within I'm one one fair. point. Yeah, we've all been pretty fair, really. Actually, all yeah. right. Um, I know he loves it, so I'm gonna. If I don't let him talk about it, badges the banner merchantman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. your num number um, first. Draw the number first. I think that this thing, uh, it personally, I, I've got to put it as one because it's just one of the ships that I absolutely want to own. Yeah. Um, but but just on this, the the amount of things that it can do, um, the fact <laughs> that it's such a good looking ship, it's also going to be pretty well defended. We think, um, right. and just the style of it, just the the, the art shots that we got during citizen con mm. absolutely blew me away and from citizen con i went meh merchantman to oh my god i need this ship right i think because we've had that we've got to have osiris because osiris hates this thing yeah the look of it what, well osiris why is that a four wow okay it would have been a five but they just announced it's going to get a med bay so um really this thing i've i've talked a lot about why i don't like this ship and it, sure it's going to look pretty sure it's hotly anticipated but it's got very conjectural gameplay uh as far as the traveling bazaar i just i don't know that i see that as being uh real or something that's gonna be as as profitable as everybody thinks and um that's part of the reason i dinged the privateer as well i just i just press i have a, a lot of and use the, i just press a and use the erase tool <laughs> And, yeah, and aside aside from that, and it may it may turn out that I'm wrong, and I have a CCU to this ship if it does turn out that I'm wrong. But I have uh, a lot of concern over the dollar pledge dollar to SCU ratio of this ship. It's pretty unfavorable when you compare it to the Hull series ships. Oh, I maybe maybe concern. now, but I, I got it for two. I got it for two hundred and fifty dollars, man. I think that's yeah, gonna you be got it for insane. Different though. story. Yeah, 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 and I think most people like like uh, everyone thinks it's going to shoot up in price. I don't know. Look, I, I, I can I, see. I, 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 see said, I, I, I think this will be as, as the same price as an eight ninety jump or close to it in the end. It's basically you know, alien tax instead of luxury tax, uh, markets instead of uh, luxury suites. Look, like Fox six to one half I a dozen, believe, a dozen. But this has got this has be got better weapons than an eight ninety. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know you want to believe the truth is the truth is in here. <laughs> Um, All right, Agrid, tell me about the whole seat. Yeah. Since, since it's very similar, like these guys, I, I actually think the banner measurement and this are probably the two closest, but you correct me if, if you think I'm wrong. Yeah, so, look, I, I... Give us your number this, first. This is the number, number. This is the frustration I find with this. Give me the number. I'm going to say it's a one. Okay. Right. I'm putting it as a one. Uh, this should be the most common merchant ship in game. This is a ship we should see all the time. It is, you, it is you know... The 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 um, prime hauler of, of the UAE. It's so popular that the uh, it's actually the Z the C and the D are actually the reasons why uh, Misk have that nice arrangement with the Zeon Empire. The Zeon love this ship. They absolutely mm. adore the whole series. All right, um, which says which says something for the railing later on. <laughs> Mm. All right. Um, I don't know about space, but both me and him gave it a three. I think for me, space is because it is such a common ship. I think they're going to know how to take it out more than other ships, like from a piracy standpoint. So I think it drops a fair bit because it's so common for me. But um, what about you, space? What, what's what's your three? Honestly, I just don't like it. Yep, I that's don't fair. know why. <laughs> it's hideous. Well, Speaking of hideous, I, I, uh, the 890 jump. Uh, I've got to say for the whole sea. The main mm. reason I've got it as one is because it is that number one prime mover of, of the UEA. It's other than that, I, I'm not really a fan of it. But it is but boring. Isn't it's, it? it's law rolled in law and everything else. It has. Mm. To, it, it is that that level, and it's not going to have massive crew requirements like. All right, we're going to move. Our, I know you love it. I know you're passionate. We've got to, we've got to let it die. We've got to move on because we're not going to get the, we're not even halfway. Like uh, we're already like 20 minutes in, um, 890 jump, right? I am, will confess that I'm not the biggest fan of origin because of gameplay reasons. That said, I would say this is the best of their, sh their lineup. 
Um, it does have some flaws design wise, but I think a lot of that will get fixed over time. Um, for me, the only reason it's not a one is because it just doesn't have enough gameplay, but it is a two for me. Um, uh, yeah. Um, badges. Why have you given it a three? Yeah. So, I mean, most skills are all about where, whether or not I see how it's going to fit into the game. Uh, and exactly mm-hmm. like you've just said, not sure there's enough gameplay to support it. And I'm not sure about the longevity of mm. just flying NPC toffs around the universe. Yeah, I, I think Origin is the, the money sink uh, of the game. Yeah. All right, everyone's ship that they love to hate at the moment, uh, the Odyssey. Um, is there anyone that wants to speak on the Odyssey? Specifically, I know Algrid vents on it like a, mo- a mofo, so I, I kind of I'm gonna let Algrid just yeah. <laughs> that says it all. Algrid said everything with no words at all. Yeah, that was perfect. Um, Fifteen. 15. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be honest. After the episode with Badges the other day, Badges did it go up for you at all? In like after the episode we did, the Carrick versus the Odyssey, it went up for me so, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, like, so I had to dial back because we, when we first looked at this, we said it was going to be an industrial explorer. Um, clearly, it's, you know, that's not the way they've pitched it, but the mining levels are on the front for me, kind of. It, it makes the most sense that that's the way it's going to go. We need some clarification from CIG as to what exactly it can mine. We know what it can refine, but does that mean it can't mine anything else? Don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, do you know what? I, I think. It's got a bad rap because of the way it was marketed. Yeah. Um, um, and a lot of people, you know, someone called it Carrot Carrot. Everyone just went, Rah! and lost their shit. And that was, yeah. yeah. That was no, I, I, if you want to watch that, if you watch that episode that me and Badgers did, you'll, you'll see my thoughts on it. So, yeah, Algrid, you tell us your thoughts on it. Because I know, I know what you're going to say, but go ahead, Algrid. Keep it short. You've got 30 seconds. Go. The, the problem with the ship is that the lack of information they gave in terms of marketing. Um, if you look at the computers, it's actually got more computer power than a than a Carrick in terms of the, the matrix of lies. So depending on the scanner system should mean it can actually map jump point better, but the Carrick does have those uh, proprietary scanners to actually help mapping and scanning of jump points. Mm. Jump points, same as the, the um, Aquila. But there's so little information on this ship in terms of what it's got. Yep. Even the jump point article that tells us what the ship, what they wanted the ship to be, indicates that it follows a carrick in terms of a place. So it's not really exploring and doing that side. It's doing the, the secondary level. Everything but, you're saying there, Agrid, is exactly what Badgers and I said. That's basically but the it. problem, yeah. Uh, but the problem is the the uh, the information's just not there. They tell us it's mm-hmm. got a Xeon gravity generator. Whoopie do. Tell tell me what the benefit of that gravity generator is. Does it mean I'm not using other stuff up does it you know what's the value of having Xeon lifts what if a bow goes out as lifts are useless so uh, and who cares about a viewing room if it's just there for rule of cool mm. yeah Tell me how this ship is going to do those roles the I best thing I, this ship's got sorry i was just gonna say i think we've, uh, we've all come to the conclusion rule of cool is shit um that's all yep. so <laughs> and, and and the best thing this ship's got is twofold one is that that, that the big hangar and yep. two is that joint hangar cargo bay vehicle area. So you can actually you can actually load vehicles into your ships that are in the hangar if, if this ship is big enough to take them. And that I makes just... it that, that's the biggest part. <laughs> <laughs> I, literally, that is exactly what me and Bay just said. And I did invite you to that episode, but you decided to sleep in or, or you had other problems. No, I, I, I didn't see that until like, yeah. I was yeah, sleeping in, but I didn't see it until all right. late. So we're all going to have to make our mouse pointers a little bit smaller now because we're starting into pixels. Um, the Polaris. Um, for me, this is a number one. Um, I think it is going to be the most popular capital ship in the game. Um, I think it is small enough to be a small org base. It's got really good utility. Um, it, it does trade on the Odyssey quite a fair bit. Um, and I... I see the place for the Odyssey. It's it's for that person that doesn't have those. It doesn't have the Orion, doesn't have the Carrick, and doesn't have the Polaris. Uh, but for me, I think this is gonna be one of the most common um, combat ships in the game from an org perspective. Um, badges. I'd like to hear from you because you're, you're you're. I know Osiris is also a military guy, but I've got to share the love between the both of you. So, badges. Can you give me your thoughts on the? Uh, 
Lars. Yeah, I, look, I'm going to use the word frigate. I know it's not one before YouTube comments blow up and tear me to pieces. Um, mm. But this is the way we think of frigates and modern navies is they are not necessarily the strongest combatants. They are not necessarily specialized platforms. But what they're able to do is they're like the Swiss Army knife. You've got a situation. You send a Polaris. It's got loads of different tools to be able to deal with that job. You know, and that for us in game equates to a platform where you can do a whole array of stuff. Do you know what? I'm bored with this now. Let's go do something else. Don't need to change ship. Don't need to muck around with your crew. Just go and do something else on exactly the same platform and a pretty capable platform at that. Mm. Um, Space, I gotta ask, why why your score? Yeah, you're, you're you're a bit lower than everyone, so I just wanna I just want I was just curious. Well, I'm probably the odd one out in that I don't really care for combat much. Already, you do, you do realize it's a little bit like a kraken, though, where it's like half support, half combat. I'm just, I'm just asking. See, you, you, all, it's all your I've opinion. Ever heard you're people talk board. about it in in terms of is as a torpedo boat, and mm -hmm. all of the concept images show it shooting torpedoes. So generally, mm -hmm. I think of it as a torpedo boat, and that just doesn't interest me. Okay, interesting. Because like until the Odyssey came along, it was the only one that kind of had that hangar thing going. Um, so yeah, because the hangar's a oh, big no, thing that's... in the Odyssey, so uh, yeah, for me, the, the, the thing that makes this so interesting is its combat and support. It's it's like a mini Kraken in the way it can uh shift fighters through its hangar, but yeah, hey, you, you, your, yeah. your opinion is your opinion, man. I'm not gonna turn mm -hmm. on it, all right, my baby. I, 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 I found the um, I that's found the, the thing with the Polaris and, and the BMM, I got really excited with the Odyssey video where they talked about the odyssey and and those the other ships i got excited by the other ships information i didn't get excited by the odyssey stuff but the, mm. the, the polaris is that it does have the same thing and it does off and the polaris can do that kind of exploration -y type stuff mm. and i actually think the odyssey is more a, a, a comparison to the to polaris a non-combat polaris rather than a yeah, uh, I, I would agree with that, and I think most of us would. It's it's probably closer to the Polaris than this to the Terrapin. I did always consider putting a Terrapin in a Polaris. Yes, we've talked about that. It's yep. very good at that space. Um, if you ever want to go over it, man, I'm sure we'll talk about it with you. But I, we we do have to move on. I'm knowing I'm knowing being the bad guy here. Um, the reclaim. I'm also going to be greedy and talk about this one as well. Um, I think this has the best, some of the best gameplay of any ship in the game. Because it gives you industry gameplay and exploration gameplay. Because you, before you empty out a ship, you've actually got to explore the ship and empty it all out. And they've actually said that you're going to find things in there sometimes, like you might find an alien race or something like that. So the fact that it gives you multiple gameplays and it's industry the and money maker. Artifact. Yeah. So for me, it's it's way up there. All right, space. I got to ask why you're doing creative twos. What? Why? Why isn't it a one? And what? Uh, get the fuck out of my chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why is I mean, it? You know, you tell me. You I don't good. really do ones. Yep. <laughs> I just can't. Uh, oh, really? It feels weird. Yep. But, but uh, it's a two. I think it's an amazing ship. It's great. The only downside to it really is that it's going to be a huge target, just like the other big ships. But oh, totally uh, this thing's going to be a freaking oh, power plant workhorse, like just sitting there in an asteroid, churning out money and sending ships with goods to sell. And I love it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I've, I've, got, I've, got, I've got to tell you, Space, as, as a teacher, you've got to go for the bell curve. So <laughs> someone's going to get 100 and someone gets zero. You know, you go for your bell curve. Oh, somebody's yeah. going to get 100. I used well, to be. Actually, yeah, these, used... Days, these days, these yeah. days we don't do that. We go by um, how well you do the outcomes. But back in the day, yeah, mm. the bell curve was someone got 100, someone got someone got the crap mark. All right, yeah, I'm, a... I'm old school. <laughs> we haven't heard from yeah, Osiris in a while, so I'm going to give him the big one. Osiris, the pioneer. Um, I really like this ship, and I'm going to like this ship more than my score is going to indicate. I'm going to give it a three, and mm. obviously it's going to excel in its role. It's right now the only ship that does its role. The reason I gave it a three is because it's so highly specialized. I'm just concerned that it's going to be like a very unique tool that you pull out once in a blue moon to do the thing you need it to do, and then you put it back in your drawer and you don't touch it for six more months. Mm. Okay, there's some ones there. There's some. Oh, what the hell? Okay, there's people that can't write. That's fine. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with that. Like, it, it is a bit specialized. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I'm, and gonna, I'm gonna let space. I've got as well. I gotta let space talk because space. He gave it a one. He just told us he doesn't give one. So why is there a one? Yeah, there? dude. Should have just waited one more, one more, one more ship. Uh, yeah. because like he said, this is the only ship that can do it. Yeah. 
At the I moment, literally can't get a base without you, you, you getting want, Do you know this This argument came up last year when we did the tier list, when we were talking about the Hercules, and I said, just wait, there'll be other ships that can do it. And they wanted to put it at one because it, was, it could only do this thing. I'm telling you now, there'll be other ships that can do this eventually. I'm sure there will be, but they probably mm. won't be able to do whole freaking building complexes at once. I'm betting they won't be as big as the Pioneer. Yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll be, well, they, we, we need no, they to talk about flat packs as being yeah. the way that they were done. This was, this was a change of the way bases were being built from yeah. launch. So we do know there's going to be other stuff and other ways you can build bases, but this is a, a unique one. Um, yeah. But now, like this, a Cyrus. This next ship, if you don't put a one on it, I'm going to hunt you down and get you like a fish. No, um, uh, Algrid, I think I'll let you talk on this because it's, it's our baby. But the Endeavor, it has to be a one. I, I just think there's no ship in, in the game that has more gameplay than this. For its price, it's insane. Um, yep. Yeah, but anyone have any different? Who didn't write? Badges. Where are you, Badges? Yeah, the endeavor. Uh, the, uh, fuck it. <gasps> um, oh, no, heresy! A question mark. Heresy! heresy! I'm actually tempted to go three. Um, All right, tell us why. Tell and us why. <gasps> so, for example, um, you know when we, we when I talked to you guys about this before, mm. um, I've said I'm a complete convert on its value. You don't have to sell me. I'm mm. with you guys 100. percent I just think there is so there are so many questions about the gameplay. When we say we've not got yeah. a crafting system, that books up that puts a really big question mark over the science modules. Well, what that, do they that, do? But, but by that logic, it puts it over half the ships in the game. So you oh, just no, no, got to take them on but, faith. But but I, I mean, but what I'm saying is like you know the pioneer doesn't have that problem. It's going to build settlements. We know what the set. You know we know what the settlements are. We're seeing the buildings. We're seeing mm -hmm. the types of building. It, it's a reasonable assumption that if you can build a surface to air missile turret, it's going to fire missiles at aircraft and ships. Right. So you, you're not with the endeavor. The I think there's so many question marks over like the, the science gameplay as a whole, and I'm going to do exactly Agreed. the same when we get I to can the, give you the science, but I can't give you the medical. So, I can't give you the medical gameplay, so the whole no, hospital but it's, of the hope. It's a massively over an engineered medical solution. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with where I was before, just to okay. be contrary. Yeah, you, you, I'm gonna you, go you, there. All right. Uh, I'll heretic. accept your resignation uh, by the no <laughs> <laughs> heretic, that's what it is. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I, I do think there is there is a there is a problem with, with it in terms of it's it's not just one ship. Yeah. It is actually five or six ships, depending yes. on the modules you put on. No. And and that agreed. That variety gives it gives it its gives it its um its value. It's it's it is one ship that does everything, but it's it's not one ship that does everything. It's mm. it it's it, it's in that strange position, but for its value, yeah. All right, Space Tomato, tell me about the Carrick. Because you got to know about this one for sure. I know I've seen you find it. Mm. Oh, when you yeah. rate this one, sure. give us your number. I give it a oh Jesus oh what the hell Sorry, how drunk I'm, are you? What? I'm standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll he's standing he's up while he's just like for... flat on the floor, <laughs> yeah. like whoa. There we go. Yeah. Can I have what he's having? <laughs> yeah, 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 so far away. Um, the Carrick's great because it you know it's got a lot of things that you need. It's got drones. It's got turrets. It's got a hangar for a ship. Um, it's got the medical bay, it can scan jump points. It's a fantastic ship and it's pretty small too. It's pretty compact. So not a huge target, a lot of capabilities. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's, believe it or not, it's very niche though. I, I, I think it, it's not a ship that's going to be around other ships. Um, Badges, I'm going to look at you too, because you've given us a two as well. So why don't you love it? I, so I do. So one is reserved for stuff I absolutely feel like I have to own, and that's the only thing that gets into the one category. Oh, well, I know what ship that's going to be. For two, that yeah, absolutely, yeah, that that's a point five that ship. Um, but no, for the Carrick, absolutely, it's a poster boy. It's all the sorts of things you know to show someone Star Citizen. If if someone said to me, "Here's a brand new player, sell them on Star Citizen," mm. the Carrick would be my go-to. Show them around ship. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's just got everything in it. You know, it's it's the game rolled into a, a small package. I think you're exactly right, though. It's going to be fairly niche for the mm. jump point plotting and for the exploration. Yeah, past a point, but I don't see it as limited to that. I we, think it's going to get. I think we're going to get a lot of use out of it. 
we talked about this in that Carrick versus um, this Odyssey video, mm-hmm. and, and, and that it is, as you put it, it's the Enterprise, and that's why I think it's going to have that draw card. Mm-hmm. You know, you, right. you touched on something there about the jump points, and mm-hmm. that's why I give it a two as well. People consider jump point mapping to be the like the the center of the exploration gameplay, yeah. but I don't. I just don't. You're not going to uh, need to do I, that I to do most exploration. No, yeah, yeah. I, like no. how often are you going to be finding a jump point? I I reckon like you're going to have True. all these people out trying to find a jump point, and I, I reckon a jump point's going to come up like once every three months. They'll they'll turn one on or something like that. It's oh, at be most. So rare. And, yeah, yeah, agreed. And it's not that just not having those sensors that can do jump points means that you can't map jump points. Yeah, exactly. I just think every the, the, every ship. Yeah, the character's going to do, do it five. The character's going to do it further. What'd you do? You changed it to a five. Every, every ship can map jump <laughs> just points. kidding. Okay. Every ship can map jump points if they've got the computers, but the character's got those sensors that give it yeah. the edge to be able to do it better. All right, Osiris um, or Badgers, tell me about the Nautilus, because this is another military one. So, Osiris, you haven't talked in a while, so uh, tell me, Osiris. Give us your number on the Nautilus. Oh, boy. The Nautilus is a four. Uh, oh and before God. anybody, you're, you're a harsh mistress. You, you're, you're one, so you're one of the most critical. I think you and Dyson are probably the two most critical of the Infernus. Um Well, I only give it a four because it's not very good. Mm. Okay. It's just, I mean, it's the whole um, mind gameplay. Which it's very niche, and uh, my color changed as well. So obviously, I'm fat fingering now as yeah. well. You control Z to go backwards, and then just reselect your color and. But yeah, tell us about. Keep talking. Why you is it? Or are you one of those people that can't do yeah. two things at once? Either me or Miles. Yeah. <laughs> one of those people. Yeah, one of those people. <laughs> yeah, one the of those. males. Yeah. I've I got a back of Cyrus up here. It, it's. Um, I I think the Nautilus has its place where it, yeah. its place is between organized orgs where that psychological warfare comes into play. Like I said, mm. half the time I would take a Nautilus. I wouldn't actually deploy the mines. <laughs> just, just, the mere sitting fact, there. Yeah. just the mere fact that it's been sighted. You yeah. report back what you've seen in the fleet. We've seen they've got three Nautiluses. We're going to have to worry about explosive mines. We're going to have to worry about gun mines. And you you planted that thought in your opponent's head. The, the seed of doubt's already been sown. Um, amongst more casual players, Nautilus is just... Unless you want it for the guns, I don't mm. think it's going to be a thing. And... Yeah, and there are better ships with better guns. Wait, I'll, I'll ask you this then. Guns. I'll ask you this, guys. Considering I've got a Polaris, I've got a Carrick, and I've got a um, an Orion, would you recommend I take my Nautilus and turn it into an Odyssey? And, Agrid, I know what you want to say, but I'm, Badgers, what would you say to that if I said I was going to turn my Nautilus into a, an, an Odyssey? No, I would say give your Nautilus to me. <laughs> Enough. Nope. Okay. You, you, you've um, got a character. You've already got a character, don't you? Execute. Uh, you say yeah. That? Uh, yeah. I've already got a character. Then why double up and get another bloody explorer? Because one, because one's planetary and one's um. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Even that Sorry. goes like, the arguments we've we've made for the. Yeah. For the... I just realised this one back here that we did was actually the E, and this is actually the C. So yeah, the whole C we're up to now. Um. So all right, so that was a D that we did before. <laughs> yeah, that was the D. D. I, f- I forgot. Yeah, so we stuffed it up. But yeah, this is the one that's probably going to be the. Um, Can I just say, look how adult we're being. Multiple times, D has been mentioned, and we've all not made a comment about it. Until so I feel now, like we, we're Until growing now. as people. You know, we're developing. I think this is good. This is progress. No, man, I'm just muted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking up over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Uh, for that little misstep, uh, space, what gives you number on the uh, on the whole C? Or should we make oh, well, this the D because we made the other one the C? So let's make this the D. We'll do it backwards. It'll really stuff with people to watch the video. So this is the D. The other one was the C. So what what do you give your, your, your score? I on think the, we're on just looking D? at the pictures, mate. At this point, I think mm-hmm. we're all simple creatures. Yep. All right. So I'm I'm rating the D. I think it's yeah okay yeah we're writing right writing, writing this as if, if, it's, if it's the D you've given it a one so you're 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 up there with Osiris so you think it's a big money maker yeah yeah also it's the D <laughs> it's it's the law 
Oh, uh, we can't have nice things. This is why. I'm pretty sure that's in lore. Right? <laughs> All right, I'm just going to move on. I'm just going to move on. Yes, um, I would. Badges, rather. because I know you hate the ship. Tell me about the Liberator. No, I, I hate what people think it's going to be used as. Please, people, for the Number, love of God, no. use the Liberator as a carrier, because my Perseus is going to love it. It's going to feed on you forever. Um, it's a ship shipping ship. It's great for moving <laughs> stuff around uh, in a non-combat environment. Put it in a combat environment. It's screwed. Just waiting on our grid. Yeah. yeah. There he Despite is. the concept art. Yeah. Shows it. I'm actually... Right yes, in the I'm middle actually, of the battle. I, I think... <laughs> I'm, I was just going to say, I'm really... Bright, su yeah. Really surprised across uh -huh. most of these that we're very close. The numbers are very close. Sorry, Agrid. You were going to say? I was going to say, look, this is a ship that's going to be a great utility ship for people. Um, if you want to mm -hmm. carry it, but you, you can't crew a big ship, this is a great one. But if you're going to use this as a, a carrier, mm. um, I'm going to be I'm going to be trailing behind um, um, badges in his in his Perseus. His Perseus mm -hmm. is going to be chewing you up, and I'm going to be eating you up because I'm going to bring my I'll, I'll bring my reclaimer and just munch up the bits afterwards. So it, yeah, I'm quite it, happy to it, do that. Sold. I'm thinking. No, I'll tell Algrid later. Algrid, remind me of that later, and I'll tell you a comment about John Barilolo. Um, anyway, all right, Hamhead. Um, I think like what Badge was saying about psychological warfare. I think it's the opposite in this ship. I think this is basically a security guard. I think it'd be quite a boring yep. ship when the action is not on. Um, and I think for that, that's why my score is a three. Um, I, I I would rather have more like a singular big gun or, or, or fewer big guns than multiple kind of small. That said, I still think it'll pick a pack a punch. Um, I just don't think it'll, uh, anyone going to back me up here? Uh, space, what's your number? I'm curious. Oh, he's I think muted I'll... again. He's trying to talk. He's just. Yeah. No, he's not muted. <laughs> he's just, he's just being creative <laughs> no, where it was very strong. Right. <laughs> <laughs> trying to work out where he's going to put his number. Yeah. My desk is in seated mode and my mouse is down there, but my Mac, my mic is up here. So I'm kind of going back and forth, but. The hammerhead uh, for me, like it's another combat ship. I'm not a big combat person, yeah. and like if you're not doing something combat oriented, it's you're really not going to end up on this ship. I also feel like it could possibly do with like maybe a tier three bed, mm. but mm. you know that might be. I, I'm going to ask real quick as a side question because I think uh, like this came into my head as soon as you said it. So, but I know you're a big industry person, but you do know there needs to be like people that guard you while you work, right? So what is oh, your yeah, combat, what is your combat ship then? What's the, what's your go to? Hmm. You know what? I don't know. As I look at my think, ratings, think um, think 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 on that, and and you, you let us know when you want to tell us. Some somewhere in the rest of the episode, you tell us because that's a really interesting question. I just thought of that. Like you're really not combat, but you've got to have one no matter who you are. Mm. You've got to have a go to, and, and it's the same thing for a combat person. You've got to have a go to money maker. Uh, so yeah, I'm curious there. Um. Yeah, this so I, I've I've rated I I rated the Hamed higher than I've got it higher because I think it's a ship you must have. It it is that escort ship. It, mm. It's kind of fitting there with Polaris or the or the Perseus. Mm. They're ships that you w must have for escort. It is your ship, but you if you've got a an Idris or a Javelin or a big ship, and you've got torpedoes coming out and you can't take them out with guns, that's mm. a ship you throw in front of them. You literally, you literally sacrifice your hammerhead if you need to to save those big ships. It is your anti-fighter, your anti-missile, your mm. anti. You know, it's that local big gun, big ship defense. Um, but, Everyone ship, write their number in a module. No, in the module, in the modules. Um, uh, this ship for me is the opposite of um, you oh know, boy. Wait, wait, waiting on some of the um the modules to come along for this, but. I think it's very TB, TBD, like to be determined, but like out of all the daily drivers, man, it's got like, like those modules just put it on, on such a high thing. Is anyone that doesn't like it? Okay. So Keenan, you hate it. All right. So is it yeah. cause it's Drake? Why do, you, why do you hate it, man? Tell us. That's fine. Cause it is absolutely ugly as f <laughs> Like it, is it is ugly as fuck. Yeah, it is. It is the worst looking thing I've I ever seen. I can do that too, but I don't. I can, <laughs> so, but I just don't censor brilliant. it. I don't care. Yeah, it was really well done, though. Yeah, good job. It's a great, um, it's a great ship, and that's why I don't give it a five. But like, it's so ugly. Yeah. 
So, so it loses that many points because it's ugly. Really? Oh yeah, dude, I'm stingy. Yeah. You're, so you're 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 very vain. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this though. I'll say this. It is an amazing cargo transporter for its size. Like, so, I'll give so, it the credit it's due. I'm just being a little, you know. So, so, so the modules don't do like because because a lot of people when I, I I hear them give them negative point, they just don't know. Well, about oh, no, the I know about it's, like it's got the modules, more modules the than... tractor beams like the elevator yeah the the way that it's it, it uh cockpit disconnects it's all really good you just so you just don't like the dragon setting okay no, you're entitled to your opinion it's uh, and, and being I, wrong i gotta fine. come uh, up with the caterpillar from a slightly <laughs> different perspective as well forget yeah. the functionality forget the aesthetics there's something amazing when you fly this down to yeah. the moon and you get it right you get the deceleration right and it lands and you land on an uneven surface and it just settles. You don't do any of that crazy wobbling round. Yeah. You just feel like you're balling because you landed and you're just like, I've nailed flying this thing because it's so unwieldy to fly as well. It is unwieldy to fly. Yeah. But, it, it but it's just, unique. It, you feel boss when you land it. When it when you're flying yeah. it and it looks cool and it's you know looking almost cinematic when you fly it, yeah. I, 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 I made it's good. I made our grid fly it because um, it is a very easy. I used to experience. hate it. And, and I, you, I used to hate it. I used to, yeah. I used to find it really difficult and frustrating to fly and dock and all the rest of it. And yeah, it's, it's unique, isn't it? It's just it's so different from anything else. Certainly, is unique. Oh, well, it's off to one side <laughs> and you're at the back. Uniquely ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you were so vain, Ken, and that, that, that just <laughs> blows me away. Well, you know, and once you get used sometimes, to it, sometimes you know, sometimes yeah. I like to stretch my legs a little bit. Yeah. I, I was tempted to lower my score down because it because it is great, but you know because of the modules and and what it can do for its size, it's just. Yeah. If that's not clear, by the way, I don't give them based on their being a manufacturer. I really do it on what their gameplay is. That so it's not because it's Origin and it's all fancy and thingo that I don't like it. I just don't like that yes, it doesn't it have enough gameplay. Shut up, that just. All right, but um, you, you just hate you just hate Origin. Just disagree with it. I don't hate just them. I just yeah, want I them you to a, be I better. Give you a three X. I'll give it a three. <laughs> give it a, you give it whatever you want. All right. The uh, Starfarer. Uh, Algrid, tell us about Starfarer. Because you and I both. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I, if I got I, both, do I? Shit. Hang on. Yep. There's one on. at the top. But I'm, I'm going to give them both a one. Yep. I'm giving them a one. A, because they are the, they are the refuel miners of the game. In terms yep. of hydrogen, the only ship currently that can um, mine hydrogen Ooh, and refine see, it. See, so that's a deadly premise um, there, is don't ever say it's the only, because then that's when you're going to get... I said beaten. only one at the mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. I did say at the moment, at the present. Yep. Um, and, it, and I know there are other ships that can, you know, like I know the 100 series have their small little refineries. I know the doer supposedly have a refinery. But this is the only one currently that can <laughs> mine, refine, and actually store the stuff. Even the Odyssey can't store stuff separate it goes straight into the tanks it's still the only ship that can currently um refine um contain well can refine containing as well it's one of the things that um dan truffin when he was talking about mining talked about using the uh or using the uh starfarer to refine stuff so we know the refinery can actually do that stuff i've always considered the um the staff are also a mini uh, Hercules because of the, the size of that cargo bay uh, and um, the, the vehicles you can put inside it. But yeah, badges. Why have you given the Gemini a four and the normal staff air a two? Why on earth for a ship that's supposed to refuel and keep its fleet stocked? Why would you swap out its scoops for a missile rack? You why did, would you, you put a missile rack? On something but you know you that can put has it back all in. the maneuverability of a post office. You can put it back in though. You know that, right? But 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 that puts it back to then it's the staff error because it got yeah. more armor. It's got more armor though and better yeah. engines and, and better guns. So I don't know about so our grid, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run mine as a, a G and put the 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 fuel scoop and the refineries back on the G. And that's how, like yeah. a combom combination of both. I think it's basically if, it's marketing, that, dude. They're trying fine, to sell it. The way they've done it, no. I yeah. just yeah. no. Why would you put okay. missile racks? Uh, we don't want to talk about. That... No one wants to talk about this new yeah. ship, do they? Uh, yeah, they do. It's it's a five for me. Like it's definitely yeah. a really big five. Uh, no, all right, babe, I... just go for it. Go on. We know what he's going to do. Osiris, <laughs> don't, don't don't make me fight you, dude. Uh, can we do a ten? Like, can, can we can we go lower than that? A hundred? A thousand? 
Right, uh, you're no, banned. No. Get out. <laughs> um, so for me, the Perseus is um, it's basically the Graf Spee of um, Star Citizen. It's the ship that's going to sit in the back line, um, go out on its own, find your Starfarers when they're going back to pick up more supplies. It's going to find all your ships that aren't frontline combat ships, and it's going to end them. Um, and the beautiful thing about the Perseus is it is such a prickly cons- uh, prickly prospect to try and take out mm. that you are going to have to deploy a disproportionate amount of force to get rid of it. I think I'm going to have to listen to uh, Osiris because he's the other military guy and he's giving it a four. So Osiris, why, why, why such a low score? Well, I think when we did the um, the episode, um, the Buyer's Guide episode when this ship was first concepted, uh, we mm. talked about um, the things like the poor slew rate of the main guns and the uh, the limited fighter defense PDCs. And I just didn't feel like the ship was uh, well positioned for its intended mm. role. Uh, and I, I haven't really seen anything that changed my mind. Uh, as part of a fleet, this is this is going to be a fine ship, but uh, mm. I, there's still there's still a lot of issues with the way CIG designs ships. Um, they I feel like there's there's a gamification element to how they design ships, and we're going to talk about that more when we get to the Hercules here in a minute, but. Mm they they design things not how you would design a ship for a specific combat role but they design it for a gameplay niche relative to other ships yeah. and the gameplay that they provide and i think that this ship to a degree is a, a victim of that methodology yeah. i i can i be honest i blame myself when i was on sc leaks for h- hyping this ship up quite a bit and i i just don't think it's as good as it's going to be um, I'll leave it at that. Um, just real quickly, guys, on the over on the right hand side, can you change the size of your paintbrushes down to like mine's down to two pixels because uh, badges and our grid yours is just getting too fat and you're taking up too much screen space. Because we're gonna Rude. have to get we're gonna have to get smaller and smaller. We're gonna be getting down to one pixel in a minute, so I'm down How to dare two you. pixels. <laughs> How dare you! I take up all the real estate space I want. I'm gonna smash all that. Can we put all three Hercules in one thing, or do we have to do more separately? Yeah. You, uh, look, you can do all the numbers, do, do individual numbers, but I'm going to do them all at the same time, right? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so, um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who out of us likes the Hercules series. I would normally ask Paul, but Paul is not here. Um, um, who am I going to ask? Uh, well, I mean, Osiris has already pinned his colors to the mass, so maybe Osiris yeah. wants to go with this one. Yeah, go, Osiris. She gives the negatives while I do my scores. Um, well, this is like I was just kind of getting into. Um, CIG took Chris Roberts' vision of World War II in space ad absurdum when they were designing the ship. They didn't give it any dorsal coverage to speak of with its turrets. It's a, a, a ship that is entirely oriented toward ground-facing threats. And mm. this, this is a three-dimensional space game that's just nonsensical design criteria, if you ask me. Uh, furthermore, when you view these as cargo haulers, they're, they're, they suffer from sort of a similar issue to the BMM. They have an unfavorable dollar price to SEU ratio compared to uh, <clears throat> other ships that you can pledge for that are competitive. And uh, then I guess those are probably pretty good reasons. Space, why, more. They're not space, the why are you copying my scores? Why did you why did you give it a three three four like I did? Um, I was averaging out what I did. I think I did a. You're just three... you're just copying my numbers. I've been watching you. You've done it almost all the way through. <laughs> I'm reading from my list on the screen. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, no, I'm just teasing. Um, but yeah, tell us why. Why do you find the kind of average? And then the the A two is obvious, right? Because it's way expensive. I mean. But- I, I just find it's, them average myself. So you tell me why, why you find them. Average. It's also like uh, you're dropping bombs, yeah. like. I mean, not only are you dropping bombs, you're dropping size 10 bombs. Like, how often are you going to need to do that? They already told us they're designing another yep. size 3 bomb right now. So, like, yep. a ship that's dedicated mainly to drive is just cargo hauling in this thing, and it can barely carry anything compared to its brothers. So, yep. like, why would I take that out if I'm not going to do anything other than drop a bomb? It's, and, you know, it's very much a juxtaposition to what they, they kind of sell you on the M2 and the C2, and then they give you this complete juxtaposition with the A2. So it's, yeah, it, 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 they 
they stand on each other. It's weird. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Which one is which, Algrid? Which one do you want to call touring? Which one do you call exploring? Because one I'm going to give a really good score, and the other I'm just going to shit on. All right. Um, touring at the top, exploring down the bottom. All right. Touring at the top and exploring down the bottom. So I'm actually after the update. I'm going to give the Explorer a two, um, and I'm going to give the uh, other one a four. Um, that bed being added to such a small ship, wow. You know, that that that, that really does change it for me, um, and I think it kind of is a highlight of Origin as, as a whole. Origin is you overpay for what you get, but you do get good shit, right? Um, hey, which one are they adding a bed to? Uh, both of them. Oh, well, no, the Explorer. Is it both the Explorer, or I think. Just the Explorer. So the Explorer is easily the better version. Yeah, now. I think the Explorer. That's the bottom one? Yeah. 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 So for me, the Explorer uh, I, gets a better I, point. Actually, yeah, I could. I actually really could hate on Origin a bit more, couldn't I? That's true. Wait, hang on. Now, I, so, I would say that I'm not... I think I have five. <laughs> I guess I'm a little confused as to how to interpret the, um, the announcement of the medical bed because I think the way that it was phrased left it open to the idea that maybe both would get it but it, it wasn't exactly clear to me uh a, a medical bed would be welcome in either ship given the role but i i think that it's clear that the exploration version version is going to get one it's not as clear that the touring version will get one but it could be the case that both get it mm. makes way uh, more sense to have one on the exploration in my opinion mm -hmm. yeah all right Agar, tell us about the, ship, the tell us about the ship if you're buying this ship, uh, the, the 600i, even though the Touring has such a low score, that's probably the better one to get and get the module in game. Mm, that, that, that's because true. No, that's true. Unless you want it right now. Um, so, yeah. yeah. And, and that's the case right with now, all modules, I, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I, I, think, I think the Explorer version is going to be very, very similar in many <laughs> ways to a Carrick. It's just going to miss the drones. But it's, Keenan, it's I was telling up people up to turn their paintbrush up. down, not up. Um, Algrid, tell us about the Carrick, the, uh, the, the Crucible, the Crucible, the Cold of the Crucible. Sorry. The yeah, Cold man. of the Crucible. Sorry. That um, was, that was Space's fault. You put me off. 0. 0.001. Yeah. Right. So, 0. 0.001. You can't <laughs> get any better than this shit. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. That's um, such a, that's a huge claim, Algrid. That's a huge claim, Algrid. I think they just, it just went down a point from badges because you said that. It just went <laughs> <laughs> it, it is your flying toolbox. The scarab can be, can be detached and still repair stuff while you're off doing other stuff, according to the videos they've put out in the past. It's, right. It can refuel. It can rearm. It can repair. It is the it's greatest got, ship in Aussie land. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's got drones. It's got the rotating restaurant. Restaurant, um, it's French. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this thing's yeah, literally look, a, sp a space station. The yeah. it is a space station. The engines actually <laughs> oscillate there up and down the side. It is when we watched the video and did mm. the deep dive, it was the only ship we found that you could actually access the engines. It's getting lower. The them. more you talk, the lower Badger's score is getting. I think you should stop. Um, look, for me, I think it's the ship that bridges the gap between combat in, in, in industry more than any other ship. Um, so yeah, badges. What? Why? Why do you think it's so bad? Or it, just it's not that I think it's so bad. It's it's. Or, or were you rating you know, Algrid speaking? If is you that look at the, the if you look at the geographical area within like um the game that this is actually going yep. to be useful, it's quite minimal. You got stations. People aren't going to want to wait around. And if you're pre-deploying this to be in areas where people are going to take damage, why are people taking damage? And is, is that the sort of area you want to put your crucible into? Is there in a battle? So the chance, you know, once you retreat to a safe area to allow the crucible to do its work. But what if the ship can't retreat? You're in a safe area, so why not just go to a station? But if the ship is broken, this ship's going to have to go in and pull it out. Yeah, but but that means uh, as a ship by itself, it then becomes a, you know, kind of a a, a victim like the ship it's trying to repair. For it to be able to do that, it not, needs more. Not defense. if the battle's over, though. Not if the or battle's it over. Needs to, well, you know, hopefully it's over, right? Mm. All right, I, I can see it, your it, it, logic. It, it, I don't agree, but I can see your logic. I mean, you could also make money with this thing in a populated system, just offering better prices. Yeah, true. Yeah, and, and vehicles. How do you take a space station down to vehicles? You know, that's another one. 
So anyway, I don't know, you need to think about that more. And, I think we'll do an episode with you on that, me and Algrid will, and we'll we'll drill it in. And there. it is, yeah, we'll try and convince you that we're right and you're wrong. Yeah. 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 Kind of like um, the opposite of the yep. Perseus video, <laughs> because, where you convinced me about the Perseus. Because the other submission has worked so well in the past. No, we're not the trying other, to do that. We're not trying to do that. <laughs> the other advantage of um, the Crucible is that it was actually designed as a ship to repair the capitals. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, the Stingray, so, Disco Lando's favorite ship. Um, sorry to cut you off, Agrid, but we do have to move on because we're, okay. we're still not even we're still not even yep. halfway. Yep. Um, that's how bad this is. So the Genesis Starliner, Agrid, I'll let you talk about that. What uh, what would you give it? It's my last number? best hope for, for Crusader. Mm. So what number are you giving it? I'm going to give it a two point five because I don't know where it's going to be. Yeah, that's kind of where I am on at it too. I was going to give it a two or three, so I'll just give it a two point five as well. There we go. Um, Osiris hates it, so Osiris, what, 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 is this junk? Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> pretty expensive and kind of conjectural as to the gameplay that's provided. Uh, I, I know that it was sold as being maybe modular, and that could be a redeeming factor, but we mm. don't know much about the modularity other than, I think that there was a, a backer-made, uh, JPEG of, of modules. Yeah, I think, I think that kind of sums it up. There's too, as Agra said, there's just too much up in the air with it. All right, we've got the Retaliator and Retaliator Base. Agra, I'm, I'm going to, I have to speed this up, man. Yep. Sorry, sorry to be rude, but yep. I have to speed this up. Um, okay. Retaliator. Um, top one's Base, bottom one's Bomber. Uh, for me, I think they're pretty much the same score either way. Um, so, yeah, um, I'd probably give it a two. So, um, one of you military okay. guys, Badges or Os Osiris? What, what's your thoughts on... Yeah, um, mate, i got to give it a two, just because the fact that walking around this feels like the Memphis Bell. It's it's that World War Two. Yeah, you're climbing over the bombs to go and see the pilot or the bombardier or whoever. I love it, and, and I think a, a couple of these uh, working in concert in fleet engagements are going to be a serious force to be reckoned with. It's also... Uh, a smuggling ship that a lot of people don't realize. It's it's the kind of stealthy, deceptive s s smuggling ship. But can't, uh, space, why do you hate it so much? Is it it's it's ugly? Is it is that what it is? So it's ugly. <laughs> no, it's Every ship that gets low ship score is now ugly. Me. Yeah, that's. Sorry, I've actually that's never. I've actually never really bit like I like the layout of the interior, but it's always felt kind of low quality, and that yeah, might just be weird. because of the the uh, the it age. Was the of first, it. it was, it was the first. It was the first. It was the first big ship ever made. It was this, yeah. then the Staff Era, and they're two of the yeah. worst. So yeah, you, you're, you know. It's also it's just a very awkwardly sized ship, in my opinion. I don't like larger combat focused ships, and like mm -hmm. in that size range, I want to drive. I want to fly something kind of more maneuverable than this thing is. Um, at, but then, at, yeah, at it's also a combat. Ship. At a hundred, at a hundred and fifty dollars, though, does that change your score at all? Hundred and fifty dollars for a ship that size is pretty damn. I'm cheap. not considering the dollar price for any of these ratings. Oh, okay. You, you, okay. I think you should be. I think that. Well, I don't know. You, you do you, men. But that that definitely factors into my equation quite a bit. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, what? Oh, you already named them. Someone named them, I believe. Yeah. All right. So we've got yes, the Andromeda, the Phoenix, the Phoenix, Aquila, and, uh, and the and Taurus. Taurus. Um, I'm going to put them all on one screen and we'll just go through and everyone chuck a number. Um, might have to make our point brushes a little smaller soon. Uh, and yeah, I think I'll put that one. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. I gave the Phoenix a high score than Algrid. That kind of blows my mind. Um, yeah. And you're a little bit across the board there. You you seem ambivalent there, Badges. Am I wrong? No, I suppose I could go a little bit lower on the Phoenix. Again, <laughs> but no, for the, for the same for the same reason as the eight eight ninety though, right? What I said yeah. before is that um, you can stop laughing anytime you want. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> you know that like the eight ninety is no, no, really, you can stop laughing anytime you want. Um, the eight ninety, it's the same thing. I. Yes, I like it, and I like walking around it. I think it's great. I think mm. the, the gimmick of having a jacuzzi in the floor is quite cool, but mm. long-time gameplay, moving snotty, aristocratic mm. NPCs around the galaxy, meh. Looking at those Just scores really meh. quick, 
real quickly across the board, the Andromeda is the best one we say. The Phoenix is kind of yep. the worst, and then the other two are a bit meh, right? And I and I and I think that is that is generalistically how I feel on these ships. They the 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 the, the science one. So I want to ask Keenan the the spa, the science one there. What, what what's wrong with the Aquila uh, space? Mm, nothing really wrong with it, other than that it's a science vehicle, but I don't like the constellation, so it rubs me the wrong way. Oof. <laughs> Tell me never to get on your bad side. Holy crap. It, it, <laughs> right. It is currently the only other ship with uh, jump point mapping sensors. Yeah, that's true. All right, 400 oh, I. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, oh, go, go ahead, Badges, if you're going to be real quick. Because this is going to apply to the 400 I, the Aquila, and yep. the Corsair. Basically, all of these exploration ships are going to suffer without some way of removing low level injuries on a permanent basis i'm not yeah. saying it needs to be a tier three med bed maybe we get that ability with like a more involved medical gun or something but mm. until they bring that online these things need a tier three medical bed in the interim All right, they, they because... do have in the um in the early stuff uh you know the the, the fibr defibrillators and, and things like that as types of things you could have as as carry yeah. boxes of the, equipment they just need something those day. yeah those but, low level debuffs the things that make you limp and all that that we need to be able to remove those on a permanent basis rather than just yep. drug people to death with them all right the um, 400 so for those reasons all of those are going to be a four for me so i'll just i'll pin my colors to the mass now on yep. all of them um i've turned my paintbrush size down to one by the way just so everyone's on the same page so this ship's a little bit across the board. I I'm like I want to give this a lower score, big, but but I must admit the reason it goes up by one is just the layout. They're really improving. Like like every yes. ship that I reckon that they make from now on is just going to be a much better standard. I, I actually think this is the first ship I saw from Origin when I went. That feels like luxury. It doesn't have the cramped space of like some of the problems that the other like the six hundred and the eight ninety jump had. But so I, I think they yeah. found Origin's place with this ship. It was the last ship they did. But but hopefully they can go back and copy this back to the others. Um Yeah. Um you guys all said two badges is yours because you're kind of hating on it. Is there, is there a reason it's, why it's so low? It, it, just... It's it's that same reason. It's yeah. it's long, you know, anything that's yep. um kind of earmarked as exploration. Mm. You know, unless it's doing some form of exploration we're not aware of yet, where it's like, I don't know, mm. stuff that's close in, it's trying to track down alien artifacts <laughs> and stuff that's buried in the desert, all that sort of stuff, yeah. then no, because the minute you, someone gets injured, you've yeah. got to start thinking about coming back. It, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't ring true. And it lost that VIP thing. That's the other thing that I, like all the other origin ships have that and then it just loses it. It just like crossed mm -hmm. this threshold. And I think they could have kept it there quite honestly. Um, the MSR. Uh, Algrid, I'm going to get you to talk on this one because you've told us that, you know, you, you're not a big fan of Crusader anymore. You Like the love has been lost. So what's your number on, on this one? Just got to find the MSR. Hang on. Yep. <laughs> For me, it's, uh, I don't know, you correct me if you're wrong, Algrid. It, what's Joker below the 400i, Algrid? Yep. Uh, the MSR is is still, for me, yeah. one of the ships okay. in MSR. I'll give it a 2.5. It's in the middle. Um, it, it, go for me, it. Crusader, it, it's one of the ships that fits the Crusader bill. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the Herx, Starlifters fit the bill. The MSR fits the bill. Uh, the Genesis fits the bill, and yet the MSR is the only one at the moment that really does. It mm. it is a great ship, but it really is just a box on stilts. Yeah. Um, that whole lower level, you ruined it for me. You you yeah, I know I know. It, it, that, I'm going to speed this up, Agrid. That gameplay, if that gameplay is proven, it'll probably go up to one. But to me, and I know yeah. to you, that is not proven, and that's why it's not a one. Yeah, right. Like, but. Those tunnels, great. I understand why they're, they're not they're, they're not crawl spaces. They're crouch spaces just for navigation and 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 tunes being able to get through. But they're useless. Mm. If they, if you had your components spread throughout them, that gave your engineer reason yep. to go there. If it was actual exactly. written reason that this is part of the cooling system of a ship, that would give it reason. Yeah. If it was part well, of the reason why it was masking things down there, that would give. But there's nothing. Yeah. Well, and um. You know, what I'm kind of hoping on that, and this again is complete conjecture before anyone jumps, this has not been said by anyone other than myself, um, is mm. that there's no point in having a smuggling ship that's got hidey holes that everyone knows how to access them. Yeah. Yeah. 
because what's the point? So I need to what I'm kind those. of hoping is they go for some sort of you know, like you have the three hundred series where you can go in and modify it in a window. Yeah. Or even just pick somehow from 10 they different, change that. So pick you from can 10 select different... your access points and which chess piece opens or, the, the or, or thing. even it, yeah. But like even if so, they had 10, 10 different layouts of the vents, so you could like just vary up the different variations exactly. of the way that yeah. So something like that. Yeah, I agree. And, I agree. and you choose which panels and, yeah. and whatever else, because then it's you know, people are like, We know mm. you've got Heidi holes somewhere, but damned if we can find out how, how to and access I, them. And what our grid said about it, the vents as well, mm -hmm. putting the components in there and the different heating and the cooling and stuff like that, that, that all makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Space, you were going to say. Yeah. I, d I don't think that's going to be as well known a thing as people think. Right now, we so. all know. Actually, when it first came out, we all know, but I already meet mm. plenty of people on a daily basis when I'm streaming who have no idea those tunnels are down there. Yeah. Oh. And there's, the there's not many ships right now. I think the biggest weakness, though, is the component room. The fact that you can walk straight in, turn left, and then every single component is in one room, and you can just sabotage <laughs> yeah, it. Set in the water. Yeah. yeah, so, so that, 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 and, yeah. and like Agra said, moving them back underneath, oh, that makes so much sense to me. And I, I, I can't believe I didn't think of it myself earlier, Agra. That's a really good, uh, yeah, that's like the number one feedback point I would give for that ship. All right, the Corsair. Yeah, just, um, got yeah. a picture of this this week for the, um, the sneak peek. Um, I'm going to shortcut Algrid and say Algrid and I both hate where the turrets are placed on the side of the ship. If they can fix those turrets and make it so they can fire forward, I think Algrid, you and I would say that 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 definitely increases the the the, the number of the ship. Yeah, it goes up by at least a digit. Uh, yeah. Look, I'm I'm going to put it in the same the same category that I've given the the, the, the Aquila and the um, 400. Yep. As an explorer, it, they're in the same boat. Pick your, pick your poison. Yep. So, but I, I'm not a fan. I'm not, personally, I'm not a fan of the the, the, the Corsair. I think it's got yep. elements that should be in the Aquila, and the Aquila's got elements that should be in it. But, yep. fair explorers, they, they, all three of those ships do the same job. Pick your all right, poison. Badges, uh, badges, why is yours so low? Yeah. Love it. Want to love it. Give medical facility. Mm, yeah, same but reason. The, but, 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 same but, reason. Uh, but other ships don't have that, so you don't no, have No, 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 I agree. Yeah, what I'm saying is if you've it got a should. ship that's designed to go long distances, oh, true. like you would okay. expect an explorer to do... You do know that's just you a You can't have it... You know that's just the, bullshit. The only thing this is going to be exploring is the inside of other people's ships. That's all it's going to be exploring. Those scanners are designed <laughs> to pirate. This is a pirate ship. Yes. Yeah. But, but if, I, if, I, you're, if you're doing close-range piracy... Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are as in close to your operating base, there are better options. Yeah. So the score, one way or the other, is kind of the way I'd go on it. Yeah, and, and you're consistent in, 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 with those explorer ships and the score you've given for the lack of medical bay and medical uh, facilities. And I've been consistent in the same way as well. Yeah. Yes, um, I it's think I literally I've... pick your poison. So there. <laughs> I think I've stuffed up with this. I didn't move this ship over when I took the photo, but this is obviously the uh -huh. Raelian. Um, yes, Raelian so let's move on to that. Freelancer hybrid confirmed, apparently. Yeah, yeah. I... If that picture's anything to go by. What is it? A Raelian? What? Oh, re... no, it's no. It's a this. Raelian, and the free it looks like it's mounting the Freelancer. That's how the babies are made, man. That's how they make it. Exactly. Yeah, both Zion New ships. ship confirmed. Yeah. Um. Don't. Don't be so big, Space Tomorrow. Other people are going to ride on there too. Don't be selfish. We're getting really small ships now, so we're going to have to start then. That's okay. where it's going to get comical. Um, it's in so, there in the little pockets there. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's a three as well. There's just nothing too special about this ship. I think everyone's similar numbers, so I think we can kind of move on. Yeah. Two. All right, Osiris, why is it a two? Come on, you had to be different. What is it? Why is it a two? I had to be cool. different. I just, you know, I saw the concept art for this, and it made me feel something, and it, it really hit all those, like, synthwave vibes, right. sci-fi vibes. I was really into gets, it. Osiris gets hard zones yeah. for aliens. All right, cool. Good to know. Right, oh, moving on. And, and right. in fairness, people <laughs> claim it's got external cargo, but it's not. Those cargo yeah. shells are actually where the cargo goes. So it's actually internal cargo. You just can't access it. It's like the cargo area of a 400i <sighs> or, or a, not a 400i, a, a 100i where it's, you know, the cargo bay underneath. Hmm. But, yeah, all it's, right. it's, it's, right. a, it's a nice ship. I'm yeah, gonna move on. on. We're, we're gonna, I, I, we need to move on because like this video is gonna yep. go for like two hours. Um, I they've nerfed the shit out of this ship in the last couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of agree with Cyrus there. It's about a two for me at the moment. Um, 
and it, at, at the moment it's like a five like if you play this they've just nerfed the shit out of it just because people complained um oh badges is being an asshole why are you giving it a five badges um because i agree with you they've nerfed the crap out of it and it's a nerf that i don't think i don't think they can justify keeping it this way as game development oh, it's, it's, they've it's balanced not... it for the now yeah, but if you're um, scoring that for the now, that score is wrong. No, I'm no, no, scoring it because for what... the, the reason I'm scoring it like that is because I think the only way they're going to get around this with the Redeemer is to downrate the guns on the turrets. Uh, okay. Downsize them by one. Because at the moment, it's everyone's pick. And by their own design philosophy, CIG don't want that. They don't want one ship to be the go-to ship. And the only way I can yeah. see them getting out of this other than mm. making it made of paper, which would be awful, is to downsize those guns. Because at the moment, it's just, even with the nerfs, it's slapping. Yeah. All right, whole Sorry. B. Right, no, no, over. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A whole B. Um, again, for me, I, I think this is probably a three for me. Um, badges, Sorry, hates... right. badges, what's... Uh, man, I've got to yeah, ask you again. Why, I what's think for something that's going to take all the extra time of like mounting stuff to the outside of it, mm. I don't see it as having a massive advantage over the other cargo ships of its size. So, mm. yeah. Okay. No. Not so Osiris, the Valkyrie. Yeah. Let's just scoring the Valkyrie, Osiris. Um, I, I really wanted to like this ship, but I still feel about it the way that... I felt when we did the buyer's guide, I think that you're better mm -hmm. off spending the money on a selection of cutlass blacks and yep. make in splitting up your target profile between multiple ships. You'll get the same thing. I think it's like a, I'll call it a four because it suffers yep. from the drop ship tax. Yep. Yeah. I, I, write your numbers I on like guys. It. Write your numbers. No one's writing numbers. There we go. All right. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, all right. Interesting. All right, moving on to the mole. We're going to get faster and faster here as we go down because, like, mm -hmm. I think they get the scores going to get well. For me, the scores going to get lower, uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, I think for me, it's probably a three. Um, for the mole, anyone there that's got a weird number? No, no, it's a mining ship. Yeah, does anyone want to say anything specifically? No, all right, moving on. Apollo, John Albert, I know you're gonna... no, John doesn't like it. Oh, yeah, John hates it. No, he prefers the prospector. He's, talk, he's talking right. about John Citizen for those people that are watching. He's a he's a mate of ours. Um, but he he does like it when he's teaching people to mine. But other yes. than that, I think he prefer the prospector. Yeah, I I, um, I have to give these a two as well for the the, the medvax. So yeah. So they're pretty high. Oh, badges. Oh, okay. Why yeah. is it a one? Wow, that kind of that's I'm your the, first one of your I first wonder. ones. Um, the idea of a drone that has like a sealed recovery ability for pilots and stuff like that is perfect and mm. the ability for you to change out configuration of med beds to whatever you want just great for for <laughs> the low crew count for something like this they're going to be versatile as as anything all right i'll let i'll let space tomorrow talk about this one the raft uh what's your, what's your number for that uh, space tomorrow hmm i gotta find it it's it's just three. just below the other ones. It's a three. Okay, yeah. No, I meant I, on my list. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think it'll be a three for me as well. Um it's just we'll see that functionality later on this year. But it yeah, that that was almost uh, you tell me, because I know you talk about the Odyssey, but I don't think that was pitched the way it should have been. Just just a yes or no or or a small sentence, not a uh, do you think the raft was not marketed properly? I think it was marketed as well as it could have been and part of that was because of the um the, co the cargo refactor mm. which is what they really wanted it to bill it for but they could they could put it out because it could still do cargo mm. but it was really planned to be used when yeah, the cargo it refactor was. comes in. it was mm -hmm. all right the vulcan uh badges the vulcan let's just go yeah um, if someone, if you guys have got this in the fleet at the minute they're going to be really lucky um, I think people are going to for the something this size, drones repair, rearm, refuel. What else that size does it? Yep. Uh, the caterpillar, uh, the crucible. No. <laughs> I yeah, just find it really you, funny. That size, you for, sit for that, on the that, crucible, and then you give this a fucking massive score. I find it really funny. But yeah, okay. Look at the size, man. This is a yeah. super, super good ship for the size. 
Yeah, but it, it just does. It, it can only really do one of its three things at a time, and um, yeah, it, it, it's only got twelve SCU. Like it's just not enough. I'd almost expect one of these be running back to a crucible to grab shit off it. Um, but I do think this will be the one that's going into the danger zone. I'll definitely give you that much. Danger zone. Danger zone. All right, we've got the three wardens. We have the harbinger at the bottom, the sentinel in the middle, and the warden at the top. Scores, please. Um, is the hop light uh, the one? Hop light the green one. Hop lights the green one at the bottom. Um, Sentinels in the middle one. For me, the Sentinels probably the top pick. Um, I would say the Harbinger uh, and the Warden are a little bit average for me. So yeah. Um, five, five, five. Osiris just hates them all. Is it the guns, Osiris? What is? What is it? They're. I just. I don't value fighters. Yep. I, I, I think extremely, extremely expensive ships, and mm -hmm. you could better allocate that pledge money elsewhere. For yeah. their role, they're not a bad ship. In fact, Vanguard it absolutely slaps, but for two hundred and fifty dollars up, it's yeah. you know they're a bit expensive. It's not the thing. Oh, we've also got this one over here. Oh, what's this? The Hoplite. Oh shit, I totally forgot about the Hoplite. Um I don't think the Hoplite's that good. I'm gonna give that a four. Um, I, just, I think the hoplite is the one that struggles in the light yeah. of like the cutlass steel. Mm. Yep. Um, we've got the four freelancers here that are being tried on a little bit by the Raelian, but I'm assuming it's the Misk, the Max. So the top one's the Misk, the next one's the Max, then the Dur, and then the yeah, then the normal yeah, freelancer. Um, there's probably a two. The Max for me is probably a three. Uh, the Durs a two. What's the third one? A two. The third one's the Dur, the the one with the nipples on the chin. Mm. Um, so we said three. nipples. Yeah. The second one was the Max, right? Yes, that's the fat one, the fat Max. Australians would get the reference of a fat Max. It's a a brand here called Fat Max. Anyway, um, yeah. Does anyone want to say anything? Because I think these are kind of a bit weird, like. This, this is a really staple ship. I um, Solid. I think my biggest All problem is it suffers with the too many seats analogy, where they were just trying to start. Like I, I think this would be a much better ship if they dialed it back to two people and maybe the MISC, because the MISC is the only one that needs a third person, it has a third seat but in a different compartment um, and a bed in a different compartment. Like, you know, that middle section, that weird middle cargo section? You put a bed mm -hmm. in there and the third person just lives in there. I, I think that if they just rework that front section, this ship would literally go up to a one for me in a lot of them. Um, it's just that little cramped nature. Uh, yeah. But definitely Even like, if it meant just... like the Cutlass Sorry, energy, the bang for buck. Yeah, I was, yeah I'm finished. Yep. Even if you, even if they did that and rejig the living compartment of the mischiefs, one of the problems I have with mischiefs is I look at them mm. and the, the amenities are really rough and ready there's yep it's not a place you'd like to live if you look at a raft or you look at a living space in a raft or the or even the um mole and compare it to a to a mist ship and mist ships suck they're almost they're almost as little care for the living areas as drake and that's ain't nothing that's harsh but yeah i would agree uh, based on the fact that MISC is a higher-end um, industry manufacturer. All right, moving on to the Cutlass. We have the Steel, the Red, the Blue, and the Black. Um, I was going to say off the, the bat, they shouldn't have called it the Steel. They should have ca called it something. Like, the others are colors. Why didn't they use a color? Like, they just broke their own vernacular. Well, what do you call it? Color. Or, it is. Uh, it's, it, it's more of a material than it is a color. Like, they, they should have called it a gray or, they, or you know, or... I mean, they should have just I've made seen... it white or something. I don't know. It's you weird. never use a steel crayon? Steel crayon? Oh, maybe, maybe that's the United <laughs> States. It's not here. <laughs> that's um, not for a me, thing, this... dude. No, it isn't. Yeah, I was going to freaking say. Um, so, yeah. So, that's... The steel's a piece of junk, um, in my opinion. Uh, that... That, and that would be that. I, I, I can honestly say that CIG have double-dosed me. They've given me a double jab of... Um, the inoculation mm. against uh, Pokemon Syndrome. Yeah. It's, it's pretty the crazy. The first jab that... was the Odyssey. The second jab was the Steel. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you can buy two Cutlasses for one Steel is just insane. 
Um, I think we've talked about this a little bit to death, but is there anyone that really wants to talk about the colors? So I think Asaris is up there with the black. Did you give the steel a one? Is that because you got a free ship? <laughs> You jackass. <laughs> no, I just wanted to see how long no, it okay, took. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> you jackass. All right, yeah. So, so are you, uh, I think most of us agree the black is correct. Like, I'm just looking at the numbers trying to get like an average across here, but that seems to be the consensus here. Yeah, the black is the go to for the colors. Yeah. My, my yeah. question is why the red gets a two and a three? Because uh, just, just I see the red as being... It's only got a tier three bed, man. That's why. And why would yeah. you get that when you can get the Apollo? Yeah, but that, that's right. So why is it ranked as two or three instead of one? Uh, okay, yeah, I see where you're going. Yeah, I, I guess I would drop it to a three now I think about it. And I'd bro drop the, 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 the blue to a four. Yeah, you're probably right now I think about it. Um, so I'm going to do that right now real quick. I keep the red at a three. I don't think I'd drop three, it lower. Yeah. And for the 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 bounty hunter ship is just a bit it, it, it got overpriced because of the mantis so that's why it loses points for me all right the prowler um the ship that is the most overpriced piece of ship in the entire game as far as i'm concerned um God, i really want to love it i, I do love it i do want to so love it expensive. and that's why it gets a four not a five yeah yeah i do love it but the price would kill it mm. sorry badges why the hell are you giving it a two I rate it on a two just on the promise that if it does anything like what they say it does, i.e. the ability to land troops on a capsule ship undetected. Yeah, so you're taking the price out of it, basically. Absolutely. Yeah. I'd never no. include price in these things. Yeah. And in game, for the love of God. Yeah. But, yeah <laughs> you know, the love of all that is holy. Don't feed yeah. the beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, or win the lottery and then <laughs> buy as many of them as you like. Someone to me, um, but yes, no, Prowler. Not uh, I, that's on the promise of what it does, mm -hmm. the aesthetic, um, and the idea of air shields being able to fire out. I love that. Yeah. It's just it's got cinematic written all over it. Yeah, I'd give you the cinematic thing. Yeah. All right, and that go. cockpit, the, mm, the vulture. Um, anyone want to talk about the vulture specifically? Nope. Um, it's a mini salvage. Um, I. Just don't like the idea of having to get out of my ship to blast stuff apart. And so for me, it kind of drops considerably to a three. Um, I just and don't I think, like that I think as that, a concept. That for me fits as well. It's And, uh, and a small amount of cargo space. It's probably a great ship. It's probably a great uh, support ship. But mm. that lack of cargo space kind of kills yeah. you. All right, the Scythe and the Glaive I'm going to chuck together so you can do your scores at the same time. Um, really overpriced what they are. I think I will give that one a four and I'll give this one a five. And I can hear Piggles from here screaming at me because he loves these ships. Um, but they're just really overpriced for what they are. Um, if you have a, if you're like Algrid, now Algrid's a greedy mofo. He actually has two scythes. He was given both of them hey. though, so. <laughs> no, no. One of them was in a pack. I had to buy one. Oh, so you got one in a pack, but you were given one for what the hundred million dollar thing? You you got it past yeah. hundred million. Yeah, and he hasn't gifted it to me yet. I, I'll just keep poking him until he does. No, it's fine. Uh, you can think, uh, right now, anything we do with these is placeholder anyway, because after Scorch yeah. and I would imagine they will be massively revisited and very very different to what they are now. So Agreed. we know they've been redone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, but, he, but, but until we get hold of those, yeah. these are placeholder. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, the Katoal, the the scout. Um, man, the this, me. Yeah, this this lost a lot of points for me when and they took out the two seats. Um, I, geez, that's some low scores. Jeez, I thought I was going to be. Well, they've taken out the two seats. Yeah, you, it was going to have two yeah. seats. Now it's only got one. So yep. for me, it's like a, a Street Fighter four. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Um, who are we missing there? Badges, what are we doing? Yeah, three. Okay, yeah. So, oh, Badges has put it up one. All right, Badges, tell me about the Cutwell. Are you just giving it a high number so I, t I pick you to talk? I just, uh, I think <laughs> if you brought it from the point of Can't view of having, yeah. I think if they're doing it for the point of view of having, um, well, hang on, you get shitty when people copy you. You get shitty when people <laughs> don't copy you. Hey, dude, Christ. I call people left, right, and center. <laughs> Let's be honest. I call you all on your shit. That's what I do. I I'm enjoying not being the person who's being shit on all the time. So, you know, yeah. great. I'm picking all of my scores. I shit on all of you. I shit on all of you. 
Don't worry, I do. I'm an equal opportunity <laughs> asshole. Don't worry. You are an equal opportunity. It's a lot of splash damage. You are entirely correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so right, take it over this then, Mantis. What do people think? <laughs> uh, I can take a break for a bit. Hey, hey, there's no reason I have to drive. You, you guys can drive this. Yeah. yeah, I think for me it's a five. I yeah. struggle with this ship because I really, really, really like the aesthetic on the ship. Yeah, me too. It is it is one of the best looking ships that they pulled out in the in that that time frame. And as an RSI ship, it's a great ship, but it's a one trick pony. What's your number? And that puts it as a five. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. The one trick pony is a star trick. I I really struggle with it. The thing I hate about this is the fact that this this represents how CIG arbitrarily subdivided ship tasks when they could have taken quantum uh QED and just stuck it in an existing ship that was yeah. combat capable. They yep. decided that they had to go make this goddamn thing, and I resent them for it. I I, I know that QED is useful in uh, the context of a group. You can go watch like Mongrel Squad take people out all the time. They mm. are always bringing a QED ship. It, it's valuable, but this thing only does that, and it's stupid and it's arbitrary, and it was a money grab, and I hate CIG for doing it. Do you, do you know what I'm noticing across the board? Some of the ships that we hate on the most all have marketing problems. I'm just noticing that, like, for, like, like, geez, it's a trend. Maybe they should stop doing that. But I, I do want to do an episode on marketing, but Paul keeps talking me out of it. It's like, CIG will hate you for it. But it's like, well, I, I I'm working you guys on, on a your video ship. for marketing, so I'd, l- I'd be happy to do that, do those in tandem. Yeah, yeah, well, th- that's the thing. I'm like, I call, sure I call you guys on your shit. I call you guys on your shit. So why can't I call CIG on their shit? Because quite honestly... The marketing people don't know this game as well as they should. They sell it on like other games that they've done in the past because that's where they've hired them from, right? But this game it was built on passion. It wasn't built on profit. And now it just feels but like it's becoming like everything else. But we're making the assumption here that this is a marketing decision, right? So if you look at EVE, um, QED effective things, so Webbers and whatever they're called in, in EVE, I forget what the other one is now. Hang on. You've got basically ships that can pop up beacons. And then you've got ships that can jam them. Is it the Sinosaurial? But what I'm talking um, about, Badgers, is when the Mantis yeah. came out, it was how it was marketed. Like, oh, it's amazing. It can pull people out. And then when we went in the game, I remember me and Agrid being there with his Mantis, and he couldn't yeah. do shit to stop me. You, you remember that, Agrid? We were trying. Yeah, it was we shockingly to, we bad. To, oh, let's see if we can pull you out. And we literally sat there for hours just... Yeah, it was over marketed. Like, they, they sold, it. Flying they sold the it as this amazing flew. ship, and it's just a pile of junk. Well, yeah, I but, just don't I mean, think the function works very well, to be honest. Yeah, I think exactly. it needs to be built out more. Yeah. So well, hopefully quantum, it improves. Quantum exactly travel doesn't that. even work correctly. We've spent you know, way too something time. Something they've released not working in is intended. And it's not exactly a new experience for us, is it? Yeah. I'm going to move on, guys, because we've spent way too much time on this piece of shit that we shouldn't have spent time mm-hmm. on. All right. I, I really SRV. like flying it. It's a nice ship to fly that. It, it, and, it, and the aesthetics are great. And I hope that... Yeah. Uh, as Algrid said, I hope that goes on to other ships when they rework. I guess my point with this is it's actually a nice design choice. Yeah. That QED is something you have to make a conscious decision to bring to a fight, not just a module that you chuck onto everything. So QEDs become a de facto part of combat. You have to make the choice. It's, it's an all to stop choice. people running. Yeah, you it's know, it's not just something running, that everyone yeah. can do. Mm. All right, yeah. the SRV. I've got to move on because we're. I, I reckon we're past yeah. the halfway point now. But the SRV, I think this is going to be one of the best utility ships in the game, but it's a buying game for me. Um, and, and, and you'll notice now that most of my scores going on are going to start to get more negative because they're just not bang for buck anymore. Um, and if I'm... I, I, I put money into... Because this is a real world money, um, and I like 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 when Space Tomato said he doesn't put that into his factors. That is a really fair way to do it. But I, I like if you are buying these ships, whoa, you know that 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 changes everything. Like like these yeah. ships are just they lose a lot of their points because they're just not going to hold their value. Um, I think it's a really going to be like like if if I was scoring this is in a shipping game that you want to you want to get. It'd be like a one or a two, but because of the price for me, I think it kind of goes back to a, oh god, I can't draw. All of a sudden, what's going on? There we go. It goes back to a three. Yeah. And I've got it at a two because and, I do think it's that valuable ship. Okay, sorry. So why is it a four for you? Because it doesn't have guns. No, I I don't find that this is really all that different than the last ship we were talking about. The the whole let's create. 
a function and then build a ship entirely around being a tugboat when there are other ships like the crucible or like, like other, uh, it's the arbitrary and artificial subdivision of the maintenance and support umbrella of ships. Yeah. Hmm. And, okay. I, I, and, and, I, and it was, you know, put a tractor beam about, on any ship with a utility mount. Yeah. This is going to be, uh, 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 be ships... obviated by the caterpillar when so it gets. So, what that is, Osiris. So, there are ships that are going to have tractor beams, but this is a dedicated, bigger one. So, I, I don't think it's quite the same as the Mantis. Is that all also? It, it, but also it is the... one saying, in hmm. terms of a, the Crucible, the Crucible was supposed to originally have a tugboat uh, therein. Yeah, and it this was. is basically what it becomes. Hmm. Space, you want to say? Sorry. If this works the way that they've sold it in their concept art, which, as I've mentioned multiple times here, sometimes mm. they don't seem to. But if it does, uh, the VTOL on this is going to be super helpful in moving stuff on planet side, too. Yeah, they did not mention that. Not many didn't they? VTOL ships and have. Pulling, cargo, or, uh, was it pulling the big capital ships up in that mode? Yeah, they did mention yeah, that. Yeah, help, helping true. the big capital ships get out the of that badge is just lowered his score in the uh, crucible. But I've. But I've even. <laughs> <laughs> Because there have been multiple shills for it since we've moved on. <laughs> it's now a five. Screw you guys. Uh, man, the hate is real. I, I think I'm going to have to go back to the first hiss and, uh, and lower my score. But anyway. All right. Um, the Aries. Uh, Ion and... Um, it, it's ironic that like a year and a half, of, like when we first did the concept for this algorithm, that we were literally saying the Ion will be better. And then it came out and it was the case. Um, lots of controversy. Should I factor in... Should I factor in the uh, controversy? Let that affect my score. You do whatever Take you want. Take some community opinion. It's your opinion. <laughs> uh, so before we did this show, right? I, everyone was asking me uh, all because I asked them all to do the tier list, and I said, "Oh, what factors should I look into?" And I said, "Whatever factors you." So this is everyone's own individual factors, right? So what you personally think the ship is worth. So I wanted everyone to be as unbiased as possible. I didn't want to like pin them in. So whatever scores they're giving, that's their own opinion. Um, except. It looks like badges are just wildly going all over the place. Like if people piss him off, don't threaten me or I'll I'll stand on your ship. But um <laughs> shit on your favorite ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's basically what badges is doing. Oh, so he's yeah, just well. yeah, he's just uh shitting on everyone's favorite ships. Yeah. So I think across the board there, other than badges and Osiris that basically really hate it. I actually I could probably hate on it a bit more. I'll give it four, just to be different. Um yeah, for Ooh. me they're kind of a bit one trick pony. And wrong the, manufacturer. The, they're the epitome. Yeah, wrong manufacturer is not a bad point either. But they're the epitome of marketing and overhype and overpriced combat fighters. Like that that sell your fighters mantra. This is the ship that I would now use as the example, Algrid. I think you'd kind of agree with me on yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is a piece of beep. Yeah. Um, um so yeah. for me, it's a wrong manufacturer. It should never have been Crusader. Yeah. The it, only it reason feels it's like an ages Crusader or an had, anvil. Yeah. No. Seems like an no. Anvil thing. What would you done? No. Who would you who would you done it with? This is Kruger. Kruger oh, yeah, Intergalactic. True. Yeah, true. No, true. Kruger Intergalactic. So what are you talking about there, guys? One and again at shipbuilding, decide yeah. we'll build a ship to prove that we can build ships. So they build the P fifty two. Size the, two gun on a small absolutely ship. Scandalized. This is exactly the same logic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same logic. Don't ever ask Arrogant about politics. He'll go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You can hear the passion though, guys. Like he's right though. It, it yeah. should have been Kruger because if you look at the Merlin, it's basically a gun, and they built the ship around it, and that's kind of what those ships and, are. They're a massive. And the whole philosophy is let's, yeah, let's, right. let's put our weapon, let's put our weapon system into a ship. Yeah. This is exactly and, the same idea. Let's put a weapon system not to, in not to mention, weapon Not to mention it would have been a really good opportunity to expand the Kruger lineup, and we would have got a more Absolutely. bigger Kruger. Absolutely. That, that's, a, that's a, yeah, that's a really good point. Because I, I, I honestly think someone at marketing went, oh, they really want a capital ship killer and Crusaders the flavor of the month. So make the, like, it, they literally yeah. changed the law to sell ships. And I just think that's wrong. I, I and, hate and, when and marketing, uh, marketing um, affects it should never affect the gameplay and it, it isn't this you, you've got you've got crusader building bloody bombers and and mass fighters and mm. and you look at their law and they're humanitarian most of their profits still go to caring for oh, uh angelis angels and, and and other areas of humanitarian relief this is just a total absolute uh, i do yeah. agree with almost everything you said i think the only thing i don't agree with is this isn't a 
weapon system mounted to a ship. This is a ship mounted to a weapon system. That's yeah. right. Exactly yeah, the just... same thing that, that, that they did with Kruger. All right. I, Kruger, I agree. a weapons manufacturer, actually went down that line. Anyway. I agree. I, I agree. We got you. We got you. All right. We've got to move on to yes. ships that... Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Boom. Um, all right. So we're moving on to Origin. Okay, calm now. We've got the... Breathe. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's fine. We all get passionate, so it's fine. So we've got the, uh, the racer... What is it called? The R, the 350R, then we've got the 325A, we've got the 315P, and the just the I. I think yeah. the sweet spot here is the P because of that utility mount. It actually makes an origin ship that's decent, in my opinion. I actually think the utility mount on that ship literally makes it way better than the others by a country mile. Yeah. I think the 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 I is very similar to the Avenger, but the Avenger wins. So the only ship in that whole thing that I would ever consider buying is the P. Because the racer, I'm just not into racing, and I think, quite honestly, some of the other racers that are out there are just as good, if not better, because they're smaller. Um, but yeah, that's my two cents. Is there anyone there with some weird numbers? Um, no, they're all pretty similar. Does anyone want to speak on those? Um, Space, do you want to say something? Just because you haven't spoken in a while. Uh, 325 was my first ship. I've got a soft spot for them. To be honest, I feel like they kind of did this ship wrong in that they yeah. expanded it so much when they reworked it. I feel like it should have stayed where it was and they should have popped something in above it. Um, yep. So that's kind of why it, it takes a couple hits on my score. So, uh, so, so sorry, yeah, I've got to ask... I've got to ask ironically. So instead of where they put the 100 eye, they should have put something above it, not below yeah. it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'd agree yeah. with that. I think probably they could have left the 300 where it was and then brought in the 400 as like a cut cutlass competitor or something. I reckon they should have changed this to the 200 series and then had the 100 eye below and put the 300 above because there's now this awkward thing when you realize there could be a 200 series. Mm. Like how oh, weird right. is that? Series. Don't give but, them any but no, ideas. But like, can you see a ship <laughs> series between the 100 and the 300? Is off? No way. Nothing. It's gonna have to be a. It's it's probably gonna have to be a a, a different focus ship of a similar oh, size. It'd have to be it's a race be origin or ship strapped to a weapon I, system. I, I, I <laughs> the, the bike, the ori an origin bike being a hundred series. Yeah, something like that. It, 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 uh, maybe a racer or something like that. Because because basically no, all you've got is touring and racing and um these. Are, the funny thing is the the three hundred series is the series that makes origin different like where it has the combat and the utility none of the other ships have that like it's all in the 300 series um and i actually the wish they took, i wish they took the 300 series and put that out onto the 600 and the 890 and the 400 like it needs some a, of that versatility here's a question for you looking at the, the way origin named their ships you know 100 series 200 series 300 series 400 series 500 mm. series 890 etc m50 85x where would you put them in terms of that 100 series rating? Oh, yeah, they're the 200 series. Uh, yeah, well, maybe they'll rename them. I no, mean, they are technically smaller than the 100. The 200 mm. series are just 100 series with a metal fold-out deck chair, like, bolted to the roof yeah. on the outside. The 200 series is that hang glider we saw in the 100 series promotional. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, moving on, the Nomad. It's for Nomad. Any, uh, I know what Algrid's going to say. Um, I hate wow. this ship. Wow. Yeah, I hate this ship. It's a five for me as well. Um, when, when some of the other ships, like a Hole in that, until they recently got their price jump existed, there was no reason to buy the ship when you could get a Hole or anything like that. So it's just, yeah, it's crazy to me. Um, but yeah. if you were able to get that st original starter pack, best shipping game. Yeah, but then just change the ship. Don't, don't yep. get the pack, but don't keep the ship. Yep, All right. Get, get that original starter pack and change the ship. But yeah, top, it was the, top best, ones that the, was the best pack in game. Top one's the, the Shrike. The bottom one's the Talon. Um, I think I've got the colors right there. I could be wrong. So yeah, the top one's the Shrike and the bottom one's the Talon. Um, anyone want to talk on these? I, I might ask Badgers here because they're combat-y type things. So why are you giving the Missile Boat a one and the <laughs> Talon a three? So, Wouldn't that be the opposite? It's, no, it's, it's a law thing. It's oh. absolutely a law thing. The idea you see in the art multiple of these coming in, it's just the idea that you've got a wall of these small fighters and they're all pumping out 21 missiles each. Mm. And it's just a wall of ordnance coming <laughs> in at something. Very, very different way to wage war. Um, 
you know, really good that they've gone completely away from the human side of things, as you would expect. Love them. I think they're great. And that cockpit effect for the rule, of, you know, for, for the way it looks, for the rule of cool that you're so fond of, I think they're great. I'm not a fan of rule of cool. But I hate rule of cool. I think it's stupid as... That yeah. He was being sarcastic. That's not oh, what right. he says in private. He loves it. He just... Oh, he, it's a persona he puts on for Joe. Putting words <laughs> into my mouth. Like, the one thing I never do to anyone is put words in their mouth. I always let them speak their piece. But all right. All right, the Hornet. I think this is uh, this and the Connie are the two staple of the game. So, yeah, you score on the Hornet, guys. We are getting very pixely now. Um, uh, which Hornet is this one? This is... Because there is only one Hornet. hornet on it's, just a, it's just a... Oh, okay. No, it's, no. On next column, you've got... Oh, I think this is the Super Hornet. All right, we'll do so all... A, yes, we'll do all the Hornets. Hornet. Yes, yeah, so this is the Super Hornet. Um, I think the this FA? is the... I, uh, the F7C... It's the Super Hornet. I think that's the F7A. It's the... I think it's the A because you've got the. Um... No, it's the Super Hornet. It's got the red on the wings. I can see the gun sticking off the top. It's like yeah. one gun there. Look, yeah, one it's, gun the, there. it's the it's the it's the Super Hornet. So uh, right. for me, that's no, the... okay. Um, again, I don't. It loses points to me for the because it's a fighter. Um, but yeah, should be great. I think we it don't need to pretty. really talk about this too much. I'm going to speed uh, up. No. All right, Banner Defender. Uh, the flying crab. Wait, can I just say that's the only combat ship where I'm probably going to have the most positive score? Oh, really? What's the call? <laughs> Two. Oh, wow, that's actually quite high for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can say. Is there anything else you want to say about it? Because it's such a high score. No. Okay. Just good job, um, Super Hornet. I wanted to love this defender, but there's just some weird things about it. I I kind of want to give it a two, but I'm going to give it a three just because it's a little weird. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rapid fire a lot of these guys because and if you want to talk about them, just kind of speak up. The Scorpius. We'll see this this year. I think this is a bit hurricane. I'll just say that hurricane. Then anyone else want to say anything about the Scorpius? I just freaking love the like. There's not many ships in this game that I can say I absolutely love the design of, but I do love this one. I hope it translates into game well. Have you seen a film called Star Wars? Space? <laughs> Oh, I think I it's people, Fury, this but... thing reminds me more of the R Wing from Fo Star Fox yeah, than yeah, anything. Yeah. No, it does. Uh, I, to me, it reminds me more of the, uh, the Star Fury from Babylon 5. But All right. The uh, Santoki Eye. Um, probably the most powerful alien fighter we have at the moment. So this is. Yeah, um, I kind of want to. Yeah, I'm going to give it two. I'm going to give it two. That, that's pretty high for me for a fighter. So, um, yeah. Um, the Raven. Uh. God, this is probably the most niche of almost all the fighters. And I own it, and I'm going to give it a three. Um, so yeah. Anything else anyone wants to add? Yeah. It's, Osiris it's hates a... it. Osiris hates it. What? Sorry, I've got to ask Osiris, because he gave it a five. Sorry. Uh, space? Uh, uh, sorry. Um, Osiris, what, why'd you give it a five? Um, because of the goddamn marketing gimmick, they sold it with an SSD. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, not... I, Again, all the ships we seem to hate around marketing. I have I one, why. and I hate it. I just it realized I've chucked. Run. I just realized I've chucked the comment and the saber in here. So just, just don't ignore the comment, and just because it's basically a waste of time. I removed a lot of the skin variants. So yeah, just the, the raven. Saber. The raven. The raven is a info runner. Yep, it is. It's a stealth and info running ship, and part of that was part of that SSD sale. So it's supposedly fast secure safe transportation of information and it can gather information so it's it's mm. your stealth it's a stealth scout info running all right agrid so i need your point i need i need your score agrid on the saber so we can move on and i need your score on the prospector please agrid so we're under the prospector okay. the, the saber basically it's a good fighter but it's just a lot of the fighters are in weird spots at the moment I, I, that said though the prospector is in a really great spot like you can see every one of us agrid what do you give the prospector i'm just curious because everyone else gave it a two. That's pretty damn like high. When... I'm going to give it that two. So everyone it gave a it a ship. two. Yeah, it's a great ship at the moment. All right, the Herald. Uh, want to like it, but that that uh, this is all going to depend on the like gameplay. It. It's all going to depend uh, on the gameplay. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to have to give it a three because I want to like it. So it goes up a point because I want it to succeed, but I just don't see how it's going to. All right. I want, the... want it, but I do. Yeah, the old the gladiator badges. Uh, what's your, what's just going the, the gladiator? God, we're getting pixely right now. Yeah, take it or leave it. I, I love the idea that they've got this kind of fighter bomber thing that flies off of 
carriers, but I, I think they need to develop that gameplay niche a lot more before we can really give it a value. At the moment, it's wow. just, Hang on. just a fighter among fighters. Cyrus has given almost everything a five. Except the sense I kill. I'm just end the spoiler the alert. Yeah, most just, of what's left is going to get a five too. Yeah, yeah, they're all. I, I'm trying to be nice and give balanced scores, but yeah, they are pretty bad. Like, um, all right, let's go to the the Hornet series. Um, I am trying to speed this up because like, there's a lot here to go through. So you got the tracker. No, sorry, the ghost, the tracker, um, the normal one, and then what the hell's the yellow one at the bottom? Oh, is that the old one? Is that the is that the A or the um? Oh, the, that's the, the military M. one. Well, so yeah, this one down the bottom. I'm just going to put a cross on because that don't count. Cool. Oh, that one, that one's out. All right. Yeah, seven um, A is it? Yeah, it's the one at the bottom. I crossed it out. Um, that's the standard one. That's the tracker. The tracker could be kind of cool, but I'll just give it an average. Yeah, that's kind of why I got question mark. You need yeah. to see a little bit of the kind of fleet yeah. command. So which, what are they again? The top one's the ghost? The top one's the ghost, the then one. the tracker, which, and then yep, just the normal the civilian. And that's it. And the bottom one, don't worry about it. Um, B, don't no, worry about this one. one. And Stalker and Warlock. There we go. So uh, we're under the Titan series. I'll go back up here so people can see the numbers. That should be long enough. And we're down to the Titan series. I think the Titan's the best one. I man, I put that as a one, and that's a that's a high score for a fighter. That's the number one ship I recommend. Algrid, I don't. You're the Anna Badges as well. I've got another one. Cyrus, why is the Titan not a, a high number for you? Just curious. Um, I gave it the same number as I gave the 315P and the the mm -hmm. uh, Nomad. I kind of see those as the only worthwhile ships at this level. But as a starter ship. Like, I don't know. We normally they're, recommend they're, they're like absolutely look. I mean, like this yep. is my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you, well, that's why I'm asking you, so you can explain. If yourself. you're just getting into Star Citizen, you should get one of those three ships. Yeah, and mm -hmm. don't spend any more money. Yeah. So, what are the three ships? Just so people know, the Avenger Titan, the 315P, or the Consolidated Outlands Nomad. Okay, I disagree on the Nomad, but the other two are... Yeah, you're going to rub people wrong with the Nomad. Yeah, and I also... The other one I'd re recommend is just the default... One of the default starters, like the Mustang or the, or the Aurora. You really don't need to spend that money if you don't want to. Um, but no, I don't agree, disagree with the 315P. I think the 315P, once those tractor beam comes online, that'll that'll change a lot of people. Size 3 tractor beam? Own. Yeah. Well, size 3 mount for a tractor beam, that's huge. Yeah. Three, and I'll just give them both a 3. All right, we're under the Hurricane, uh, the Scorpius competitor. So I'm assuming the points will be very similar to this. I almost think the Hurricane, we won't see what the Hurricane and the Scorpius fare off against until Armour comes in, because I think that's where the Scorpius is going to come up. So I'm just going to give it a three for now. But once Armour comes in, I think the Scorpius will probably pull back some of the win there. Um, if, if, if you've watched people play with the Redeemer and you mm -hmm. like that type of gameplay, the Hurricane and the Scorpius, if you feel like you and your mate, that gives you the same game. Yeah, it's it's, it's like a two person like, redeemer. That's not a bad way to ship. Yeah. yeah, not a, not a bad a way to Great ship it. to fly. It's just yeah. two of you. It is it is a lot of fun. Both yeah. of the pilot and of the and of the gun. All right, the whole A um, algorithm, you're the only person that hasn't put points on the whole A. So can we get a, a score on the whole A, please? From you? You gave it a one. Okay, that's pretty, I did. Pretty well it's a versatile ship. It's it's one of those it's one of those ships that are gonna be really good for that station to planet station to ship type transfer of cargo i think yeah. all right uh the mustang series we have the alpha or the amiga i should say that's the one that's the rare one that you can't get very often yep. then we've got the gamma then we've got the Should delta let us next to them Doesn't you put the an colors, on, them, so on, on them around oh so we'll go for so we'll just do it one at a time then so the amiga amiga is and the gamma are both are both races they'll probably have the same score right um yeah, so for me, the... Um, uh, yeah, right? That looks like the... Right. So now we're down to the Delta. Like the I think Delta. this is... The Delta is probably more unique, so I think it would kind of go up to a three for me. The, that, the bait is probably the best one, right? Um, yeah, so I'm actually going to lower that to a four and, and make that a three. There we go. And then, yeah, oh. for me, this is a four. Yeah, so that's my score. So you, you, you've got them back to front because the red is, is actually your... Uh... 
Uh, yeah, I just uh, labeled them for the sake of speed. Um, just yeah, but done. yeah, but this is actually the A, uh, A, uh, and this is A, nobody. and this is the O. Yeah, it's all good. All good. Hilarity ensues. Okay, I am very interested to see this one. Actually, this next one, uh, the eclipse. I'm just going to be really blunt about it. I, I hate fucking it. hate it for the price. It is like, why would you get this when you can literally get two retaliator bases for, for less? It's crazy. The price of that chip. Yeah, a sweet launch video. <sighs> um, Flying around the desert, blowing up other interests and stuff. Yeah. All right, we'll Bullshit. see. Gladius, I think <laughs> this is going to be... You know how we talked about the... <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> we talked about the Idris being really polished. The Gladius is probably going to be the most polished fighter in the game. I think for me, I may break my rule here a bit and go to a two. And it's only because of how polished it's going to be. Is that a four for the Gladius or a four for the... Oh. Gladius. All right. We're waiting on you, Osiris, for the uh, Gladius, and then we can move on. I gave the Gladius a four. Oh, that was for the Gladius? Okay, you just... Okay, yeah, cool. Ah, uh, the Terrapin. Hmm. It's interesting. You guys like seem to it, like but... the Terrapin. I like it too, but I think it's really freaking overpriced. I want to give it a two. But I think, yeah, like Algrid, I've got to give it a three because of its price. Yeah. I, I like the idea of a ship. I think it all paired right with get the out. other ship. At least, I'm like a, out. at least I'm like a Cyrus. Cyrus gave it a freaking five. He hates the. He hates it. What's what's so bad about it, Osiris? Why is there a five? Doesn't like yeah. turtles. Doesn't like I don't turtles. like turtles. All right, so he doesn't like turtles. Turtles are stupid. Okay. No, it's <laughs> it's a really expensive sensor dish. Yeah. yeah. All right, Algrid, you um, want to say before I cut you off? Sorry. No, no. I was just say, yeah. It, it it it's a it's an explorer. It 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 really is a sensor uh, ground sky. It's going to increase if you want to increase your value of your Odyssey for sensor and and surveying. This is a good ship to put in your hangar. Look All at right. the strength of this ship. Imagine yeah. if they imagine. I mean, there's not a good chance, but imagine if they said you could change the dish out for something else. Yeah, they've said that because like, no, it's a utility it, mount. Well, it, 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 it's got it's got. Oh, it's got a God. its utility mount is two two size two sensors. Do, which do you know what I'm way, actually? The same that the uh, Agri, has. Agri, do you know what I'm actually expecting? Is that you can take one of the utility ones off and possibly put a mining laser on one, so then you can scan for ores and use it as a core sampler, like a mini core sampler. Guys, this is a pocket endeavor. <laughs> oh, come, come on! on now. All you do is build a that's couple utilities far. for it. No, come that's on. too far. Ridge. That's not. That's. That's done. That's bordering yeah, on Harris. Blasphemy. That's blasphemy. <laughs> yeah, that's, no, that's Harrison right. is the best ship in the game. Yeah. I, I, look, I, I, I will say out of the advanced star, uh, profession starters, it probably is still one of the best. All right. Moving on to the 100 series. Uh, we've got the cargo first, and then we have to go back up to the top of the other one. We've then got the... the oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. Um, the, 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 the fighter one, and then we've got the 100i. So I know it's the... What is it? 135C, 125A. A and 100i. They're the three, aren't they? Correct. So, yeah. Um, I think the C's the best one. Um, so, I'll probably give it a two. Um, I'm being harsh on them, the others. Yeah, I probably should be more harsh. I just realized, yeah. I'm going to give it a three. I, I, I love the so I love a ship. I love the size of a ship. I hate the price. Yeah. It's not a starter ship because of the price. Yep. If it was a starter ship, it'd be an Aurora. It'd be a must. It'd be Mustang price. Speaking of Auroras, really Agra, can you just label those Aur Auroras, please? Uh, sorry, space. Oh. say? If you can look past the price of this ship, the 135 is a super great deal compared to the Pisces. Oh. Mm, yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, uh, that said, though, the Pisces does carry three people, so that's hard to look past. It's fair, but somebody can sit on the bed in the in the. 135 and you have a bed to log off and on with Our, yeah. with that refinery that ship goes forever ln i think that one's the lx actually not the ln and that one will be the it's going to be a squeeze um, for everybody either hang on what's CL. the brown one at the bottom cl clipper mm. at least that's how we're labeling them yeah um I'm just gonna do like I'm just gonna do threes across the board. I think they're just too similar. I don't think there's enough between them to to separate them. Like having that many variants right at the start is just insane. 
Like this, the like, problem, like, the like literally these... one of them is one has a leather seat. Whoop do you fucking do? The only real no, difference one is true. the LN. That's not true. The, if you have a look at the, the, the missile mounts of these, the ES mm. has the smallest missile mount. The MR um, and the CL have a, the same missile mount. The LX has a slightly bigger one and the LN has a, a bigger, uh, the largest one. Is so that... their missile mounts are different. Yeah, their missile mounts are totally Wait, no, different. No, 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 hang on. No, sorry, I'm um, myself. So this is, the one here, there's the ballista and one's the Spartan. So what's that? So the Spartan's the bottom one, the ballista's the top one? Is that how we're calling it? So ballista, I'll just call it B-A-L. Um, this is not a ship. Okay, well, okay, well, do we have any other vehicles? No, I deleted most of the other vehicles. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, so we'll just... Oh, no, we'll do them. Stop it. Just do it. Get it done. Um, for me, and, the, and the ES for the Aurora should be a lot lower because it only has two guns and it can only ever get two guns. Yep. Because it only has two hard points. And right, Agri, you need, you need to points. label the Hawk and yeah, yeah, the yeah. Ballista and the Spartan. So the Ballista's the, the top the one. Uh, I freaking hate the Spartan. Personally. Yeah, where's the Hawk? Hawk's the middle one. Yeah, just, just here. Yeah, that one. That's it. Oh, that's a bit... Okay. You don't like the Hawk? Little weak. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a cool ship. Mm. I, I, it's fun to fly. It's very different from everything else. It's another like I like those unique flight experiences. But yeah, uh, what's that? That's a a blade. Oh, that thing is. I guess I'm just kind of like waiting to be convinced that I need that ship as opposed to like another small ship. I could just knock someone out and toss them in my cargo hold. I think we're boring badges. He's just gone on and like labeled everything. Um. Yeah, the arrow is pretty good. I'm I think that when you knock somebody out, they wake up after a couple of minutes if they're not dead, right? Like 10 minutes. Oh, I'll make sure they don't. <laughs> That'd be called did, murder. Is that a one? Did you put a one on the buccaneer? I did. Hagrid? Wow. Okay. Why, why a one on the buccaneer? I was testing I was testing the ships in Arena Commander. Yeah. And the buccaneer was the only one of the fighters that actually felt nimble like a fighter. It, and it, it does feel had power nice. to punch. So yeah. it felt like a fighter. It actually had punch. It could actually survive. I could actually survive the longest. It was just the, the as fighters, it just it was a ship that went. It was a ship I didn't want to like. I yeah. hate Drake, but it was a ship I liked. The arrow I liked because it's also you can get three of those into an 890 jump uh, quite comfortably without doing weird things with your, your hangar. All right, then we've got the, uh, the Tanner series. We're just who are we waiting on for the Tanner. Osiris, can we have your Tanner, uh, your Reliance scores, please? You're the only one that hasn't... Uh, I'm confused about which one's which. So top one's the, the top one's the, the military one. one. Yeah, top one's the military one. All right. The second one's the science one. The third one's the camera studio. And the last one's the core. Better change that then. Yep. So you can kind of see we... None of us really like the Reliance series. It's a bit weird... Um, but yeah, that kind of tells you that. Apart from my one on the Mako, because I love. Oh, God, the what, are, what are you doing? Good. What What have you done down here? <laughs> what is all this shit? Just like I fucking like endeavor, like, ST genius. I, hey, don't. Hey, yeah, if yeah. you ever want Space Tomato to read you bedtime stories ever again, you're gonna have to be nicer to him. Um, I'll read yeah. all the stories about the terrapin. I'm saying that because yeah. I actually had to mute my mic when he said that. And yeah. by the time I finished <laughs> laughing, I, I like, the laugh. moment it gone, I couldn't say anything because what? you guys. What is were under the counter, by the way? Makos. Oh, wait. I'm crying with laughter. Mm. I, I've got to ask, <laughs> what is uh, what is the ship under the uh, Reliance? Uh, is that the Pisces. A Pisces. The Pisces. Pisces. Yeah. The Pisces. The reaction to the fact that that could possibly be considered the pocket endeavor by you two was. Was just that's made my night. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. That Man, we're getting in. we're getting into some pixels here. Um. Oh dear. We need Osiris's score on the eighty five X before we can move on. You got a five on all what of those. Ships oh, you get a five on all. Reliance. Okay, badges. We need yours on the eighty five X and the the two. Or have you? I. I, I you wrapped. don't care. You've wrapped. Yeah. I'm just trying to get him. Uh, these are the... and... He's revised his score on the I... Crucible to I... a 10. Uh, to a 10. Uh... <laughs> well, no, I haven't, not yet. 
Right, he does that. I'm going back to the, I'm going back to the Perseus and butchering. <laughs> this it. is not a revenge thing. You cannot go against other people. Like just don't. Yes, it is. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop me. All right. So what, uh, which one's the cargo? So we'll make this the cargo and this one the transporter. But basically, they're probably the same. So for me, yeah, I probably agree with uh, space. It's about a three. Um, I do believe there's like a dragonfly and something else down here. Like this is meant Nox, to be the, I think yeah, it is. That's the, the dragonfly there. and that's the Nox. Um, I don't care. Yeah, they're, both they're, five. they're both garbage. So, um, <laughs> no offense, CLG, but seriously, like the price you're charging for some of this shit is basically getting to exhaustion points. Um, you guys want to check some points on the Nox at the top and the dragonfly just... Real quick, that's the only one. Uh, Osiris, Space Domino, and Badges. Uh, last, last two we're going to do. The Nox, and, Nox is the blue one, and uh, the bottom one. All right, so that's a 10. Oh, you're an asshole. See, see, now they're just giving scores because I said it was shit. Three and a five, no, man. Right? It's two fives. All right. So what I'll probably do is I'll save this image. Can we save it? Save. Yeah, my score's two 1.5s. <laughs> it's a work of art. Uh... Uh, wait, hang on. Actually, I'll, say, I'll uh, give the Nox a four. Share, share, share as PNG. Give them both a four. Oh, what, you're redoing it now? Have we finished? Has everyone finished before I save the image? Yeah. Share PNG. All right. It should hopefully save out. Can anyone save it out? It doesn't want to save out for me. Save. Okay. And let's see if I can open it. Yeah. All right, you're going to see all my pornography. That's fine. Um, no, just kidding. Um, so we got an image there. I will put that up on the community tab for people to Google over. Um, is there anything you guys would like to say before we wrap off? Like, we, I was, It's good to hang out. We don't get to do this too often as a big group, and it's a shame Paul wasn't here. I did want him to be here. Um, but, yeah, it gives us a We don't get all together like this often, do we? Mm, There's a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I, do, I do want to ask on the... On the um the Argo, like I, I've, I've got the Argo one because I, I think it's such a pivotal role in terms of law and, and everything else. But Badgers, you also gave it a one, I believe. So why? Um, I think utility stuff like this is going to be overrated. Oh, sorry, it's massively underrated at the mm. moment and yep. the importance of it when we come to the game. I mean, if you think about transport around a system, um, we've got the we've got 747s in the form of the Genesis Starliner. We've got luxury stuff. What's going to be doing the job of the Uber? What's going to be doing the yeah. job of, you know, and, and I think, yes, you could say larger ships, but something like a cargo, oh, sorry, something like an MPUV um, personnel, really easy to do stuff like that. Uh, and they're going to be really important within fleets as well because ships with hangars, you're effectively going to be able to hide one of these things in and use it um, with members of that ship's crew without having to bring an entire different ship that's got its own beds, that's got its own crew, that's separate to the ship you're in, they're going to be great for stuff like that. Mm. Now, I was about to post it on the community tab, but I just realized I've got to put the video out first. Otherwise, it gives away the ending. Uh, so I will post that up um, the same time that uh, the video goes live, if I can. If not, if I'm asleep shortly after. Um, thanks for all being here. It was good to see you. I know it's very hard for us to get together like this because all the different time zones, but I had a lot of fun. hope you guys did too. Um, hope you guys yeah, are what, watching. Um, anyone want to um, pimp themselves? Space, where can people find you? All over the place. Just Space Tomato. Mm. Uh, I have a website, and basically you can find me everywhere from there, but YouTube is really where I put out most of my content. Mm. I've been streaming a little myself too lately. Um, I've had three of these guys on. I'm finding I enjoy it so much more when you guys are on. I, I don't like streaming as well as I thought it was going to be. But yeah, yeah, I'll get you on to it, Soros, don't worry. Um, but yeah. All right, does anyone else want to add anything before we sign off? I think one of the things this, this shows is while, we, while we're on the show, and we often, in our shows, we often present a similar idea. You can see mm. that on a lot of the ships, we have divergent views and, and yeah. different values and, and reasons we place value on ships. And so this is a great thing to, to see. We're not just, just yes-mending each other when we do our shows. Exactly. We actually do rip apart these ships and pull pull yeah. and, and argue and 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 that yeah. before we actually do present our present it, what we it, do. it so. also does show um 
it, it just shows the ships that are stronger too. Like when, when we're all in a kind of agreement, all very close in agreement and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> hang on, I've got a throg on my throat. I've just got to... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> oh god damn it i'm not on the top layer this is not working it's just helping him uh, anyway. <laughs> god damn it all right wait can i move my layer up to the top yes i can there we go look no 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 oh no he's just now he's just leg frogging me no no there's not enough space to write down terrapin here yeah, not when you make it that big yeah all right all right then. Uh, so today joining us we had Algrid, Badgers, Cyrus Frost, Space Tomato. Uh, Paul wasn't able to make it, but we're gonna go annoy the shit out of him right now for five minutes on his stream. And other than that, I've been Execute, and we'll catch you in the next one. Everyone, say goodbye. See you later. Ciao. Bye. Take it easy.